to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and $825 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida Prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorney. Hey, homeowners, Russ Rollins here to talk to you about something serious, your power bill. Last summer was tough, but this year could be even worse. So don't wait until the last minute to get protection and savings from solar power and backup power. Solar Source has a new pay-as-you-go solar package that lets you start with an affordable base system and add solar panels over time. Plus, their pay-as-you-go battery backup is awesome, and it lets you add critical backup power as you go. Schedule a free consultation at solarsource.com slash monsters get ready for a stress-free summer moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me but after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or mbc which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body they mean even more i take ibrance palpocyclip Ibrant's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrant's and visit Ibrant's.com. Ibrant's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrant's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, Grand. G-R-A-N-D Grand Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call Good luck Someone's going to get offended It's just the way the world works So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy Here's this The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers News Junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The News Junkie, Sean Wasson. With Sabrina and C Lane. It is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. Lots to get to today. From who were the mystery hitmen to John Bobbitt loses some more body parts in the insanely dangerous senior assassin game. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Hey there, Sabrina. Mm-hmm. Good day. Hello, C-Lane. What's happening? 
And hello to you. You can join us on the show today. All you have to do is send us a dispatch. Go to the newsjunkie.com to hit record on your first dispatch right now. You can also watch the show on YouTube and twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. And it is, friends, a share the show Tuesday. Share the show. That means you spread the word about the News Junkie Radio Show by just telling other people. Spread Send a link word. around. You can take the uh, the like button over there on the stream. Hit it. Hit it repeatedly over there on hit YouTube. The like. And if you just want to send somebody a text message that you love and say, hey, I listen to this show send and I text. think you might like it too, go do that at thenewsjunkie.com right now. Dumb, All right. Dumb. It's a share the show Tuesday, but most importantly, you know, of all of the things, here's what I really want you to do today. Big secret, all right? Okay. Dropping secrets on you here. What we really want you to do is pay attention on this lovely radio station to all those keywords you're going to hear today. Mm -hmm. As soon as you hear those keywords, fire off the text like they tell you to. And we want to start stacking up some winners from this show. It's easy money, I, baby. I have to correct you. You said we want to start stacking up winners. I say we want to continue stacking up yeah. winners yeah. because we're already, we've already started Bitch. lining them up. Yeah, that's right. Paying them off. So when you hear the keywords, make sure you send over those text messages. The money is real, and you absolutely can't get a shot Ooh. at it. So just uh, give that a, a, a pay a little attention to it today, a little extra attention, if you will. And a good reminder that if you do win, you have to send us, I believe, what was it, 20, 40 bucks? We, we have landed actually, on. we've raised that, unfortunately. Inflation's a bitch. Yeah. So $100, $800. a piece. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's not go crazy, Christopher. All right, you can keep it all if you win, but uh, good luck to everybody out there. Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happening in this great big wide world of ours. And we go to a concert. Uh, and yeah. it, is it just John Mellencamp these days? Has he nixed the cougar? He's no cougar I, Mellencamp. I don't know that the cougar's been around for a while. Yeah, he cougar might died. have gotten. Yeah, I, I know John Mellencamp. You know, I know like the, the Jack and Diane and you know, a couple other songs that he does. Uh, and go ahead, he name was. Them. Oh man, I know other John Mellencamp songs. I, like I could sing along to them, and as much as I know them, but I don't know if I could name another title. Jack and Diane, little little pink houses. Is that one? That's it. Pink, just pink houses. Yeah, pink houses. Um, there's one. A, there's one with some spelling. You got to do some spelling. Uh, mm, a, I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's R O C K. In the oh, USA. In the USA. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know that one too. In the USA. Now, the problem wasn't his jams, his <laughs> hits. It was instead him talking about some political stuff. I guess he oh, brought up fun. something at the concert. He's like, you know what? You got to vote for Biden. And I, I would imagine. I love when I pay a bunch of money to go see a musical artist and then they, instead of playing the songs, um, instill their political viewpoints into I, the concert. I'm not a big fan of that at all either, but I guess there's maybe some way to do it. What he did was everything got really quiet and he start, just started talking. And that's awkward. When you're at a concert, and people are playing songs that you know, and you're singing along to them and stuff. And then all of a sudden, it's like, all right, let me let me tell you about Joe Biden. It's like that's a weird, weird way to do things. And also, what is the what what is the conversion right there? Like at a concert, how many people? You know what? I didn't know who I was going to vote for, but right now I'm changing my mind. I'm like, or oh, I made up my mind. I'm voting for Biden. I just don't know if that's the case. I don't I'm, know if that happens. You know what, a lot. though? Do you think some people that were there at the show perhaps were surprised? Mm, Maybe uh, thought he went one way and then said something else? I wouldn't think so. He's always been like an outspoken, left leaning musician, like most like rock guys are. Um, I, like, I would be more surprised. I'm more surprised when I hear that there's. A, a rock star who's like a like a Trump supporter or goes in that direction just bye, because bye. yeah like Kid Rock and you got like just a handful of them the guy from Stained <laughs> you don't have like too many people on that side so anyways he starts talking and I guess people got real mad yeah, you're quiet. <laughs> shut up and strum asshole <laughs> and I, I think it stings too because he he like 
gets quiet in the reaction to it. You edited this, right? No. No, yeah, yeah. What do you think I mean, Jimmy? Sucker. Now, here's the thing, man. You don't know me. You don't know me. I do know that uh, Camel Toe you know, is rocking. You what now? Camel Toe. Alert. Oh. oh. He does have a little bulge down there. He's got Not a bulge. <laughs> what is... is he wearing? What is this called? Um, that is a. Is that uh... a karate gi without the without the belt? <laughs> is this a jumper? Is what what the, is this? The, uh, that's the like. What was it called? Dicks or Dickies? Dickies. The Dixie yeah, it, one piece. It, it looks like something maybe a mechanic would wearing wear after he's like sliding out from underneath your car he's working yeah. on. And also this guy. And then he goes, he goes, hey, Joe, find this guy. Like he's going to kick his ass. Hey, Joe, find this guy. And let me see him after the show. Guys, I can stop the show right now and just go home. Oh, my God. Why? I'll go home. See what I'm going to do. Since you've been so wonderful, I'm going to cut about 10 songs out of the show. Here we go. Slow, he plays Jack and Diane. <laughs> also, why does everyone get punished because of one jackass? True, yeah, and very, Diana's. very true. He he cut through ten songs and went right to Jack and Diane, and uh, got out of there. And uh, he was seemed like angry about that guy. Uh, one dude shouldn't ruin for everybody. You're right about that, and uh, that seems to be what happened here, unfortunately. But. There you go. I guess that's the risk of when you bring up politics at your concert. Some people are not going to like it. Some people are not. Um, we got some stuff huh? to get to uh, momentarily here. But one thing I wanted to touch on was updates on this story we talked about yesterday. Because this story is absolutely bat s insane. <sighs> this is absolutely going to be a docu-series, if not yeah. a full documentary within the next year, I promise. I Usually I can figure it out. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know what the hell is going on with this carjacking story. I because, can't figure it out. Because every day they like spin a wheel and, boop, 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 and there's a new random boop, thing boop, boop, boop. Uh, mm-hmm. that, that uh, adds itself to the mix. All right, let's get the overview out there. For those of you who have not been paying attention or have not seen this, this is starting to get national attention. This happened in Winter Springs, Florida, and there was a woman with a lot of names Catherine uh, Aguas Vivas is the shortest way to say it. Catherine Aguas Vivas, 31 years old. She's in in broad daylight in rush hour traffic. It's like six o'clock. This woman is sitting at a stoplight. She had just called her husband. uh, She tells her husband, there's a green Acura. And the Acura is ramming into the back of my car as I'm driving in this white Dodge Durango right now. And her husband goes, don't stop. At all costs. Don't stop. Keep going. you got to get away from these people. And uh, when we were texting back and forth a little bit, how insane is it that there are precisely one of these green Acuras in in the state of Florida? There's only one. There was three, and then they, like, crushed two of them, and there's only one of these green Acuras from this year. Which, like, if you're planning ahead of time for some massive crime... Yeah. Maybe go with something a little more common. Like I'm a here to Honda. Give advice to criminals, but come on. Something that, that, that would be uh, easier to mix in with the other cars that look like it. It's a green 2002 Acura, and there is only one like it in the entire state of Florida, which is it, just wild to think about. So the Acura is slamming into the back of her, and then you see these guys, at least one of them gets out, but there's got to be another one in the car because somebody's driving the Acura. And he's got a mask on. They call it a ninja mask, but, you know, he's just, like, got his face covered and stuff. And the guy's got a a handgun, but it's one of those handguns where you put, like, all the extra stuff on it. You know what I mean? Like, it turns into, like, it's got, like, a stock on it. It's got... You took a handgun and you made it into something the size of, like, a rifle. And at first I thought it was a rifle. It like an SMG. until Until they said it was a handgun, I was like... How is that a handgun? It's huge. It's, uh, the guy's holding this thing. In his hand. And, Duh. Yeah, yeah, right. And it, the, the guy goes up to the window of the, the woman's Durango, and he's clearly threatening her with a weapon. He tells her, uh, obviously, open the back door. She opens the back door. Then he's in the back seat pointing the weapon at her, telling her where to go. Uh, the Acura follows the Durango as it takes off. They had her drive to some construction site where they fired off, like, 12 rounds, 
killing her, and then they burned the Durango so badly that even though people heard the gunshots and called the cops, by the time the cops got there, they couldn't even tell what kind of car it was. That's how bad the thing got burned. And she was inside. Yeah, she was inside this vehicle. All this done in broad daylight, pretty much, okay, with the sun out, these uh, operating like, like in third world countries, like the cartel operates. Is this cartel related? We have this kind of stuff spiraling out in cities in in the United States of America right now? That's a little frightening. And the other question is, the husband, your wife calls you. I want every one of you to put yourself in this position. The wife calls you, and she says, I'm being rammed by an Acura right now. And he says, don't stop. Whatever you do, don't stop. And then she doesn't call 911, and he doesn't call 911. And he waits until over an hour later when the cops see the phone number on the for sale thing on the back of the Durango, call him, and he picks up the phone, and they're like, hey, your wife's dead. The guy never called 911. Imagine your wife calling you and saying that, and you you don't call 911 immediately. I've never seen something more suspicious in my entire life, right? But that was just like the tip of the iceberg for this. It got even weirder yesterday. So we'll take a look at some of the the press conference. I got an email that we need to address and a whole lot more. Very busy show on a Share the Show Tuesday. And that's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Enjoy your dominance over artificial intelligence while you can. Did the coffee machine always have a laser cannon? Tell your smart speaker to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Construction continues blocking that right lane on Florida's Turnpike southbound south of County Road 470, causing a bit of delays there. There's also debris in the roadway on Florida's Turnpike, causing a bit of slowdowns southbound between Hancock Road and Oakland Exchange. If I-4 is a part of your commute, you could expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and after State Road 429. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Walt Disney World Resort is hiring. Explore a variety of full-time and part-time roles at the heart of the magic and enjoy great benefits like complimentary theme park admission, exclusive discounts, and more. Apply today at WaltDisneyWorld.jobs. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S. based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. 
Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Kotfi from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be able to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar this Thursday night at 7 p.m. at the Orlando Wyndham Garden. CamtechSchool.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of repair from simple repairs to upgrades it's a1 from day one we fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime our springs rollers and openers are tested by running them up and down open and closed all day 24 7 so you can feel confident with every a1 garage door repair replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home as the weather starts to warm up keep those creepy crawlers outside by calling a1 garage door service today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting. Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone, 15-year-old water heater, place your bets. Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? I have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two... FrankGayServices.com. Hi, guys. Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, GRAND, G-R-A-N-D, GRAND. Enter it now on our website at realradio.fm and answer your phone if you get the call. Good luck. They're best friends, unless they're fighting. Are they fighting? Movie at some point, just because it's that insane. I mean, a woman carjacked in broad daylight by masked gunmen in the United States, or as cars are driving all around, people operating with what they think is impunity and just acting like 
we're in some third world town where the the gangs are in charge of things. That's crazy. That's scary. These people are still on the loose. And then it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. And this woman was was killed by these people. We don't even know how many there were. Uh, and we know that she was uh, very likely in the vehicle. They, I don't know if they've confirmed it via the DNA, but they think that she was shot and then the vehicle was lit on fire. And the other details that came out at the press conference were pretty crazy, too. Uh, and one of them was that they had arrested a, a sheriff's officer for his involvement in this case. So uh, that was also very strange because, one, they threw the book at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, 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 they stacked up charges on this guy. And then, yeah. but I found myself, like, especially rewatching the story this morning, a little bit split. I would say more so, like, w- this is very sus, a very mm-hmm. sketched out. What's his involvement? And the tiny part of me was like, is this someone who knew somebody who was just trying to help out the husband who's probably losing his mind? Well, just a, a basic outline of what they said that this cop did, all right, this sheriff did. All right, so they said that uh, after this woman is is found dead, they ring up the number that was on the back of her Durango because uh, somebody videotaped this. And just for the record, for a second here, uh, biggest of ups to the guy who recorded that video. Can you imagine if we didn't have that video? But did they call 911 after? I don't know. People did definitely call 911. People 100% called 911, and I've heard some of those calls. So it very well could have been that that person called 911. But if they didn't record that video, we wouldn't know nearly as much as we know. I don't even know that we'd be talking about this just yet. No, you just say a car was found burned. That's I, what you would I, say. We definitely don't know about the other murder. and I did not not hear about that until this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it gets more and more complex, folks. But here's what they said. They said the cops, after this woman is found dead in her burned car, they call the number on the back and they get her husband on the line. And the husband says, yes, I was speaking to her and she was being chased by this green Acura that was slamming into her vehicle. And he said, I told her not to stop. And I said, did you call 911? And he said, no. And he never called 911. An hour passed. He hadn't heard from his I, wife. Have they confirmed that? Because for a while it was just like, it's not clear to, you know, we, we don't have any evidence that says either of them called 911. But did so he... I, did he actually I, I, say no to them? I have a little theory that I'll float out here. I think that the uh, officers were trying to be pretty careful because they really, really want to talk to the husband and they didn't want to spook him by making it too clear that they they had a target on this guy. Yeah. So they kind of went out of their way a little bit to be like, well, you know, we don't know. But there was no, as far as I'm aware, 911 call from the husband who had gotten that call or from the wife who was driving in this car. Nobody called 911. Well, if they're trying um, not to spook him, I mean, it's kind of kind of hard now. Uh, they they have said that he's not a person of interest, and mm-hmm. he's not a suspect in the carjacking or the death, uh, but the sheriff said he believes the husband knows more information than he shared. A hundred percent. Yeah. Like he, he definitely does. One hundred percent. He knows more than he's sharing right now. And so here's how the, the sheriff's officer gets uh, roped into this. Uh, they're they're headed to Central Florida from South Florida, where they live in the Homestead area. This uh, husband, and he's going to go talk to the police, and uh, he's with somebody, and they find out that they have a connection, and they know somebody in the Orange County Sheriff's Office. They get that person to start digging around and see what's happening with this investigation. Who are the people investigating this? The person who's digging around pretends to be another officer and calls up trying to get information out of the folks who are investigating this crime. Yeah. He records all of it. He records all of it. And then he sends it to the husband. So the officer, you don't just put your job and your life and your freedom on the line for some rando and record a a internal conversation where you're trying to get information about an investigation. You don't do that for nobody. You do that because you really, really have a connection to somebody and you want to protect them or because you're scared of them in some way. That's the reasons why you would put it all on the line like that. Well, the story that I'm guessing they told the uh, the, the investigators is that the deputy who's been arrested, his wife 
was apparently childhood friends with uh, Catherine, the, the deceased husband and brother. Right, but you do hear that your wife had a close friend and this, this happened, and you record calls of you trying to dig up the information? No. Do, do, I, uh, do I use the resources I have like uh, you know, like a, like a you know, the David system or any sort of thing that you I, did. that I have access to look up. I mean, that's still you're still not supposed to. But would I take that step to possibly get some information? Yeah, but not um, not to commit fraud in, in in as much as saying that you're a different person. You're it, you're essentially impersonating a police officer. You are if you're impersonating a different police officer than you are. Also, the idea that he just had to say the name and they're like, oh, okay. Here's all the information you need. There's yeah, no I, other second uh, two-step verification. I, I don't. I don't know if they just told him everything. I don't think they did. I think that they eventually got him to admit that he was somebody different on that call, or like they, they, they knew something was up. I believe. But the reason they found out all this happened was they talked to the husband. They said, "Look, your wife is was found dead in this Durango." You're telling us that she called you and said uh, an Acura, a green Acura was ramming into her. And and you said, uh, don't stop no matter what. And they go, are you going to work with us on this? And the guy goes, yes. And they go, will you give us your cell phone? And he goes, yes. And he, and he gives his cell phone to law enforcement. And that's where they found the audio recording from this police officer. Cool. That's, that's how they got that information. That was dumb. And, and now that's out. But it's like something is is not being revealed by this husband what is it is it some sort of organized crime some sort of gang activity he seems to be a business owner in good standing in homestead doesn't look like there's been like previous criminal charges that they've mentioned up against him here is some of the press conference yesterday from the seminole county sheriff talking about this case that just continues to be more and more mysterious thank you so much uh for coming out for an update on the murder investigation involving Catherine aguas vivas uh, that happened on april 11th which has been widely covered uh two large uh, updates that i'll provide today and at the end uh, i'll open myself for any questions uh, as I've said in the early briefings of this, this is an ongoing investigation, and I think that timely delivery, as much information as we can, uh, is incredibly important. Uh, the first is we're no longer looking for a green 2002 Acura. We Got located it. that vehicle. Uh, the circumstances leading up to that are one that I'll describe out now, that uh, the car was legitimately owned uh, by a family in Winter Springs. Mm -hmm. Uh, they sold that to a legitimate car dealership back in December. Sold the car or traded the car in. As car dealerships typically do, they traded off to an auto auction. They went to an auto auction and then ultimately was purchased by a buy here, pay here owner operator who sold it from their lot uh, in Seminole County. All right. So these are the people you need to find. Because it was bought from this buy here, pay here lot. Apparently, they didn't pay for the whole thing, and they didn't come back and sign the rest of the paperwork they were supposed to. But those may well be the people who are driving around in this green Acura that was one of a kind in the state. They might be your people. Maybe we got some security footage of them signing the papers or signing some of the papers and sign all of them. Maybe we just got some more details on who these folks were. I know that they're chasing those leads down. I'm sure they are. Uh, they sold it. It was still titled to the original owners in Winter Springs. It had not had enough time for the, to work out the transfer of title. And the people who purchased the car never came back to finish the additional paperwork. Uh, they still owed uh, the person money. So the car uh, has been out on the streets probably since February unregistered, um, undocumented with a license plate. Uh, any license plate that it had on at any given time was just temporarily put on largely right. from a stolen tag. So they know the history of the car pretty much. Then they drop another bombshell. And I think this is one of the ones that would see lane was like, wait, what? They said that at some point the car, it was kind of hard to understand, but I believe they said the car was towed from an apartment complex where it was illegally parked. It was Pulled in backwards so as not to show the the license plate, which was obviously bunk on on the screen Acura. Can you and tow just for that? If you have the signage. I guess, yeah. Absolutely. If the apartment complex says, hey, can't do this, can't do this. 
and they tow the green Acura out of this apartment complex, right? Then after this, the uh, the tow truck driver is shot and killed in a hail of like a hundred bullets. What are the odds, man? And they said that the green Acura was on the scene when this shooting took place. So maybe these guys got pissed because somebody dared to tow their Acura and then they like assassinated the guy who did that. This was just days before they did the other brazen broad daylight carjacking and then shot up this woman and, and burned her car. I think this it was actually the day before. Like the, the day before. Yeah, yeah. Like they're operating in public as if they aren't even slightly afraid of law enforcement, as if they think that they are in charge. And I don't know who's who's on their side here. What's going on with the police officers who seem to be feeding information to this unbelievably sus uh, husband who is definitely not telling the whole story. So you got maybe more murders tied into this and you got the uh, the extra Why officer. Murders? There's so many twists and turns in this thing. And honestly, I have no idea. I don't know and- if it's a gang thing. I don't, I don't know what it is. I mean, think about the information that we have as the public right now. There is so much more that we do not know. No. When it unfolds, yeah. I think it's going to blow our minds. Yeah. Because the way yeah. that it first unfolded, what, 72 hours ago? Yes. Maybe, maybe a little bit longer than that. It was like carjacking. Obviously, someone wanted to steal this car. And it's like, nope, way more layered than that. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more complicated than that. Very say hello to my little friend. And uh, another little tidbit was they said, well, what was she doing in Central Florida? And her husband said she was visiting family. And they looked into it, and they're like, this woman has no family in Central Florida. She was only in Central Florida that for like pause, an hour. I was like, she has no family? She has no family in Central Florida. She has family, I guess, in Homestead. She has family in the Dominican Republic where they were uh, born. And she has family elsewhere, but not in Central Florida. And she was only here for like an hour before somebody's on her tail and willing to do all this stuff. What did they want this woman for? Who were these people and where the hell are they now? Those are three massive questions. And uh, hopefully we'll get some resolve on that before too long. I don't think this is correct. Somebody on the texting service said, uh, because we were talking about who called 911. And apparently it was the person who recorded the video who who, Uh uh, who called 911 and turned that in. But it might be the only reason we know about this at at the moment right now. Thank God. Yeah. But somebody in the texting service who, uh, who I find to be way wrong says the guy recording is also at fault for not following the car until the cops came. Uh, Get out of here. You have no, no obligation. Did you watch the video? (laughs) No obligation to put yourself in that kind of danger. Please do follow the, the strange masked gunmen who are just uh, willing to do this in public in rush hour. No way. No shot. I'll call in the number and, and then head the other direction. Probably. I'm not helping out with that. These people are willing to do anything, anything. And these are not like tiny fish. These are not um, run of the mill street corner gangsters selling Coke or something. Th- whoever this is, this is big. This is breaking bad level. These are big, big players who are uh, thinking that they can just do whatever they want. And hopefully they're not right. You know, that's the big one. But what do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Send us a dispatch right now. An email rolling in to tips at thenewsjunkie.com from Lauren. And Lauren says, hi, guys. Listen regularly, but I never have made contact with the show. Well, thank you, Lauren, for doing that now. With regards to the octopus conversation yesterday, and just to bring you a full circle if you weren't aware of this, we were talking about this this guy who surprised his son by getting him an octopus, which I think was like the kid's dream. He wanted an octopus so bad. And the octopus has ripped the family apart. It's cost thousands and thousands of dollars. It had 50 octopus babies, which they got to put in all sorts of different containers to keep them separate from one another. It's there's uh, water leaks in the house. It's pandemonium because of this octopus, right? And she says, I totally agree with Sean. Octopi are far too intelligent for a tank environment and shouldn't be kept. They're extremely intelligent. And yes, they will constantly try to find an alternative space. It's in their DNA. On another note, Disney has a new documentary coming out on April 21st called Secrets of the Octopus. I bet it will be an awesome watch. All the best, says Lauren. Well, thank you for that, Lauren. I'll have to check that out. Uh, Always mesmerized by animals that operate on that level. 
uh, and octopi, octopuses, depends on where you're at on that, always seem to do that. Have you seen the um, frogfish? Uh, the frogfish? I don't know. I don't think that's one it? that it would definitely pique your Frog, interest. Frogfish? All right, I'm looking up started frogfish. started following one on social media. And it's, uh, I mean, Ooh. it's crazy looking, but it also has arms. It looks like a little Pokemon or something, and these then, guys. I mean, but it has it has a personality, at least huh. the one that I've been following. It eats. That looks like an inkblot test. That one right there. <laughs> That's exactly how it looks. And then when it starts to interact or it's ready to get fed, you could see its arms moving. And then it'll like uh-huh. stare at you. And then the way that it, as far as circle of life goes in a tank, it's... This poor clownfish was just enjoying its time, probably looking, oh, no. looking for Nemo, and then bam! Got it. And frogfish is uh, happy and fed and continues I, looking freakish as it does. I, I'm sure this is not the case, but you know what this looks like? This looks like something way down deep. You know when you see those oh, fish yeah. that are like, they're from way down deep, and then they, they come up and you're like, that doesn't look like a fish like I've seen. Fish don't have arms. What is this thing right here? I like it, though. Uh, Okay, quick break. When we come back, we will catch up with you. Those dispatches are rolling in. We'll see what your theories are on what's happening with this um, in broad daylight, carjacking, killing, gang action. God only knows what it is. Uh, And the story that's starting to get a lot more attention. Plus, we'll talk about John Wayne Bobbitt. He got some bad news. Real bad, real unexpected news for him. And so much more coming up next on the News Junkie. You know, you can always text us unless you're driving at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and Orange Buick GMC.com. We are professional grade. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good afternoon. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. Bright sunshine today, passing high clouds and warming up our high 87 degrees. Tomorrow, 88 degrees, and by Thursday, up to 92. In fact, this weekend, we could see near record heat. My forecast high Saturday, 94. The record that day, 96. And that was set way back in 1908. Can you imagine that before air conditioning? No, thanks. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Florida Prepaid College Savings Plans. Florida Prepaid Open Enrollment is happening now. Plan pricing is the lowest it's been in 10 years, with prepaid plans now starting at just $34 a month. Don't miss your chance to lock in 2024 plan pricing. Open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Homeowners, there are two ways, two obvious ways to handle an issue with your air conditioner. You can either wait until you get the big surprise and something breaks and it's just not working. You got an emergency and you freak out and your dollar signs roll in front of your eyes. and You just don't know how to solve all these new problems you're facing or You could sign up for preventative maintenance. Mills Air offers this amazing service that can save you money and detect an upcoming breakdown. Preventative maintenance from Mills Air is the best. Have somebody come out right now and look at your air conditioning. No matter what brand it is, whatever kind you have is fine. They are the best. They're techs over there, and so they'll know how to work on exactly what you have. But they'll run it through the paces from top to bottom. They're going to look at that AC. They're going to clean out your lines, change all the filters. And then report back to you. How is everything looking? Are you going to survive this summer? Or is it teetering on its last legs? You need to reach out. And Mills Air is ready to take your phone call. 407-277-1159. 407-277-1159. You could always turn to the experts at Carrier. And you could always turn to Mills Air. Find them online at millsair.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain, 
For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. This earful of real radio is brought to you by justcallmo.com. Injured on the go? Justcallmo.com. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Forever hovering over life's great dump button. You're listening... emails he says about that dodge durango story hey sean saw your video on this crazy story yesterday and wanted to share my take you can check that out on facebook or youtube slash the news junkie this whole story reeks of criminal activity from the money laundering small business hair salon and barbershop to their location miami to the fact that the woman was so far away from home with no good alibi my working theory is that this was a robbery she was running something and was robbed. Uh, if that's the case, Brian, and there's a whole lot of ifs in that, um, there's nothing in their in their past criminally in the United States of America. We don't know how they were handling themselves in the Dominican Republic, I don't think. But there's nothing criminally in the United States of America that would lead the police, from what they've said, to believe that they were involved in this stuff. Small business doesn't mean you're involved in money laundering automatically, obviously. Uh, it is very concerning that there's no reason why 
she was in the place that she was in. When they give an, an alibi and go, she was there to visit family, and they go, what family? And you freeze? Well, now we know you lied about that, and if you lied about that, what else are you lying about here? Okay, devil's advocate or, you know, whoever's advocate, who's to say that you don't consider a close uh, family friend family? I mean, that's very common in the Latin culture, obviously. Mm-hmm. They're very Latin person yeah, involved. I think the problem is the cops are saying, like, they had no answer for this. Who is she visiting? Tell us the person who she's visiting. You know why they said that? Because the cops were going to go m- meet the person and investigate right. and talk to the person that she said she was visiting. But they couldn't even give a name. They didn't, like, have a – who is she there to talk to? Well, she drove all the way up there. You must uh, – she didn't have any family there. And they say, well, that's very concerning and very, very curious. And, of course, it is. That's a big, giant question mark. And I think uh, there's a lot of theories about this right now. We don't know what's right, what's wrong. We don't know who's up to what. But we do know we, we don't know the whole story yet. And we know the most important people right now are the at least two people that were in the green Acura and the husband. Those are the most important, at least Three total people, probably more. There could have been more people. Well, maybe the police officer. The only person that's been arrested, mind you, is this police officer. All right. Yeah. The officer who who thought it a wise idea to put his entire career on the line and put his freedom on the line to go snooping around to find out who was investigating this and then send the audio recording of his conversation and other details back to the husband. Like like I said, if he was just mildly out uh, outreaching his authority, like online looking up stuff to tell them that'd be one thing, but Mm -hmm. recording phone calls, which is definitely illegal without two party consent. And uh, you know, all the other stuff that uh, went on with that, that is really fishy. Yeah. There's something going on here. You know, unless he's involved, Somebody may have had something on him. Somebody may have threatened him. Yeah. And you could say all you want. Well, they were born in the Dominican Republic. Maybe they handle things differently. I have never met anybody who said I'm from the Dominican Republic. And when something horrific happens, I just refuse to dial 911. She didn't dial 911. Her husband didn't dial 911. Her husband got a phone call from his wife. She said, somebody's ramming me with a car. He knew that she was potentially in grave danger. He didn't hear from her for over an hour and he never called the cops. That is as suspicious as suspicious gets friends. Something is, is rotten here. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what that is. Cause I know it'll come to light uh, eventually here. We've got somebody who's stepping back into the spotlight after being there some long time ago. And that is John Wayne Bobbitt. Everybody. Mm-hmm. You remember him. John Wayne Bobbitt, oh, the Virginia Wack, man. Wiener Wack, Wiener Wack, Wiener Wack, Wiener Wack. Wiener Wack. Wack. Yeah, that's him. The Virginia man whose wife, Lorena Bobbitt, infamously chopped off his genitals with a kitchen knife in 1993, now has more bad news. Unfortunately, John Wayne Bobbitt has now lost all of his toes. Oh. Which, uh, God, the uh, luck that, happened. that this guy has. It says it was due to side effects from an illness he claims he sustained while based at Camp Lejeune in the 1980s. Hey, is that that commercial that was there? <laughs> did, did that get him? It's like a class action lawsuit that was going around on that. They said, now due to a condition called toxic peripheral polyneuropathy, John Wayne Bobbitt has lost all 10 toes and walks with the help of prosthetics, the former construction worker tells Fox News Digital. Former construction worker and former adult film star, friends. He had Frankenbobbit or whatever the name of his uh, adult film was that he came out with, where he's all stitched up and functioning again. He says he cannot walk without the help of prosthetics. He said he would get wounds that wouldn't heal and lead to osteomyelitis, a bone infection, an amputation. They didn't know what the underlying condition was back in 2013 when I first got wounded. He's blaming it on Camp Lejeune. Which um, was it's not the thing that I thought it was. Uh, Camp Lejeune was the place where the base had a water supply yeah. that was contaminated with industrial chemicals. They There's said a massive class action lawsuit. Huge, yeah. Was he not part of it? 
He, well, he's saying he was affected by it, and that's why not only does he have the genitals problems, but now he obviously has no toes, and that is uh, putting him at a disadvantage out there in the marketplace, truly. All right, let's go over to you. Let's see what's happening. We got some dispatches rolling in, and here goes nothing. Here's Tatted TF up with a dispatch for us. Hello? Oh, hold on. Hang got on. It. Got it. Got it right here. Tatted up here. Long time listener, first time dispatch. Thank you. You know, I really think a lot of these people out here have lost their minds saying this guy is partly responsible for not following the person until the police showed up. That's crazy. Those guys were carrying fully automatic weapons. There's just certain things you don't do when people are carrying that kind of arsenal. Yeah. yeah. You know, like what? Pop, pop. I don't care if those guys had fully automatic weapons, semi automatic weapons, handguns, rifles. They had weapons, and they showed that they were willing to use them in broad daylight in front of everybody. It was rush hour, people, and I would not have followed that vehicle, and I would not advise anybody I else to. I think the to. video was enough. The video yeah. was a good piece of evidence, so you don't risk your own life. Uh-huh. You see what's happening. You, you don't want to mess with that. Here's Green Panda with a dispatch. Hey, junkies. As always, loving the show. Hey, if your name was uh, John Wayne Bobbitt, wouldn't you change it? I mean, I would hate to be known for the rest of my life as that guy that had his his junk cut off or, or whatever. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Love you yeah. for the show. Um, oh, hey, Sean, pick me for Fritz Southern Street. Never mind. Yeah. You don't do well. I was going to say. Uh, sorry. Have a great day, guys. Love you. Do you really want that, sir? I don't think you want that. I don't know if he would change his name ever because otherwise, what is he? That's that's the most notable Guy thing with he's no done. No toes, no toe and Joe. No, no toe Joe doesn't really make many headlines unless he's already done some stuff before that. So I think it's like kind of his claim to fame. Here's D. Remember Browning. that cop that didn't want to touch his penis because he didn't want to be gay? <laughs> that was the uh, best. No, <laughs> I ain't touching it. I ain't touching that. I'm Who knows what'll gay. happen? You'll turn gay immediately if you touch that. Here's D. Browning talking about Lorena Bobbitt. Hey, news junkies. Hey. My name's Dave. All right. I just heard on the radio before the commercial that you're going to talk about John Wayne Bobbitt. Mm -hmm. I have a personal connection. Um, a good friend of mine was a hairdresser in Springfield, Virginia. Right, right, right. And right. the girl that did the nails in her in that beauty salon uh -huh. was Lorena Bobby. Oh wow. Cool. Claim to fame, man. Claim to fame right there, D. Browning. Thank you for that. Uh here's Juan Shawson. It says Sean's word of the day. What's my word? It is time for Sean's word of the day. Word in regards day. to Indian weddings. Absorbent. Absorbent it. That's a word. What's he trying to drill me on? Maybe it's know. just maybe the word of the day. Maybe he just liked the way you delivered it. Absorbent. Did I say it multiple times? Absorbent. Normally, normally those call-outs are like, Sean made up a word, created uh, a word. No, that's usually me, buddy. Uh, we, we got we have a promo where a guy tried to call me out on that, and uh, and uh, it blew up in his face because I was right about the word. I think absorbent is a word. I'm pretty sure that's, a, that's correct usage, too. So back on I, you, buddy. Once again, I, I don't think that he was coming at you. I think it was just, just the way that you said it. And plus, it's a big word. Uh, the the inflection that I placed on absorbent, uh, I was being emotional. And what what, uh, what does absorbent it? mean? Absorbent you know. means uh, excessive. Oh. Excessive. You mean yeah. exorbitant? Oh. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What did I say again? You're saying absorbent? Uh, well, absorbent. Hold on. What did he yeah, play, play the dispatch again? How did you say it yesterday? All right, let's go back Absorb to the table. Absorbent. It is time for Sean's word of the day in regards to Indian weddings. Absorbent. Absorbent. I mean, it's a really uh, not a great recording. Exorbitant. No, I think I used Absorbent. an A when it should have been an EX at the beginning of the word. And if so. Wow, dude. Oh, oh. Call this says. News this says absorbent, able to absorb. That's what I figured. <laughs> absorbent. Well, that's absorbent. <laughs> and it says uh, absorbent, yeah, down there. And not not working in context either. Just doesn't do many any favors <laughs> well, there. Well, okay. you know, the oh, Indian wedding planners absorb all of your money. That is correct. Hang on. Let me go back to Sean Watson. Point for you, buddy. You scored. I toss out lots of words. Usually I'm very good with them. So are you and giving this time, a point to yourself? 
No, no, I'm giving a point to Juan Shawson, oh. the dispatcher who called me out on that. You you nailed that. Um, wow, man, you wrong. just disle- dyslexia your way into saying your name correctly. <laughs> dyslexia. Uh, I, I was <laughs> That's wrong. my word of the day. Hey. You were right on this one. It doesn't happen much. Take your little victory and get the hell out of here. All right? Woo! Quick break. When we come back, we'll get to an update on that Baltimore bridge disaster. Observing um, We also have to talk about uh, something else that's going on on the dispatch side of things. All right. We're going to get into this. We'll rip it wide open. See what you think. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for this afternoon. The right lane is blocked on Apopka Vineland Road, northbound before I-4 at Meadow Creek Drive. An earlier accident still causing a bit of commotion on Colonial Drive eastbound at 9th Street. And on Good Homes Road, there's an accident causing a bit of a roadblock southbound at Old Winter Garden Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. The Orlando Concert Event of the Year, Saturday, April 20th, at the Central Florida Fairgrounds, WJRR's Earth Day Birthday! Featuring Stain, Seether, Asking Alexandria, Dayseeker, Fozzie, Tim Montana, Soil, Jimmy's Chicken Jack, Sleep Theory, Austin Mead, and more. Gates open at 11 a.m. Angel from the Monsters in the Morning will be our official DJ and host of the Real Radio Monsters Chill Zone, featuring DJ sets and all acoustic stage. Look for the Real Radio Inflatable in front of the building. Russ from the Monsters will be sampling his Triple R whiskey in front of the Chill Zone. For more information on how to buy tickets, go to wjrr.com slash edbd. You can buy tickets for no service charge at Elixir Downtown, Cash Only, and Jack's Fifth Avenue in Lake Mary. Once again, if you want to get any more information, go to wjrr.com slash edbd. Rock on, baby. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. If you've been in a car accident, you need to know a term called statute of limitations. That means you have two years from the time of the accident to actually file a lawsuit if need be. If you don't do that, you're going to lose your rights to the claim. Now, sometimes some lawyers will wait to the last minute to file or contact you with just about a month left saying that they don't know if they want to proceed with your case. Be careful with that. For more information, contact me at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah and Hoda. Now, this week, the Today Show brings Paris to our plaza. And Wednesday, America's best athletes are here live to celebrate 100 days to go. So join us this week on Today on NBC. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Nowadays, it seems like wherever I go, there's a vacuum emptying out my purse. I go to get gas. I go to buy groceries. I go to the coffee shop. But then, the strangest thing happened. I went to McDonald's for breakfast, and all I heard was... 
You see, McDonald's has a deal where I can choose any two for just two seventy nine. I can choose from a sausage McMuffin, a sausage biscuit, a sausage burrito, hash browns, or a small hot coffee. I chose a sausage burrito with fluffy scrambled egg, pork sausage, melty cheese, green chilies, and onion. And I paired it with crispy hash browns, all for just two seventy nine. It's such a good deal. I'm using the money I saved to get my car clean. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Group garage door service. Springtime savings are here and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Takeback Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Morgan & Morgan, dial pound 529 on your cell phone. Pound law, that's all. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at when you need us dot com or dial pound five four six on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD one Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win one thousand dollars. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Green. G-R-E-E-N Green Enter it now on our website realradio.fm Good luck Send us a dispatch and join the ranks of the great five percenters Over at thenewsjunkie.com, quick little notes, uh, some changes in 2024, and we're working on some things, some stuff that's going to be real fun. One thing that we're not going to be doing this year is an event we did for uh, quite some time, which was the Ultimate Pinewood Derby. It was a fun time. We had people who would get these these kits and they'd, uh, make them into all these awesome different designs of race cars and uh, we'd get drunk and we race these things and and have a blast, but uh, things are changing in the 2024. And we've done some events for a long time, and it's kind of like, have we done it? Yeah, we've we've done it all. Is there really any more we can do with that event? And if the answer is no, then it's time to do some new stuff. And one thing we're going to work on doing this year is getting out there and doing at least a couple marquee, live, big banger, full-on production, let's get drunk shows. Yeah, baby. And we haven't done one of those in a while. I'm trying to think, when was our last 
live show where we really oh. mixed it up. Was it last year? Um, no. No. No? Oh, my God. It's, it's been a long time then, obviously, since we've been out and done you, that. Uh, and- you politely declined all the fun alcohol holidays that landed on Fridays <laughs> last year that would have been perfect for live broadcasts. Ooh. See, like, gets so mad about these. Man, it he, he loves a live show. And he loves a, a drinking Friday live broadcast. And we're going to be doing a bit more of that this year. We're going to be doing some special broadcasts for for you folks. And I can't remember if the last one was a Cinco or or a. Um, it can't be the, the, the St. Patrick's the COVID Day broadcast. No, no, we haven't had, we haven't had a St. Patrick's Day since before the the, the pandemic. Oh, it's been really? a minute. How about that? Yeah, it's been a while since we've been out there, but. Uh, we absolutely are going to be putting together a really big, gigantic live summer show. And we're trying to figure out where to do it. And not just in terms of like venues, like uh, like uh, lots of venues would have us and, and we luckily have some sway there. But it's about what place do we want to go to? Like, have we been to this area, that area? A lot? We've never been to this area where they really might want us. Maybe let's just go nuts and do the thing in Rochester, you know. Let's just go for it. There's lots of options. And I think we're going to be sorting that out in the next week or so. And we'll have some information on a very big, giant comeback return party of a live show for this summer in 2024. I'm ready, baby. Make sure you're kind of putting that in your your brain and scheduling wise you're thinking let me save yeah. a day off you pencil know, us in for all of summer yes yeah just like it's gonna well it's likely gonna be a friday right i don't think we do we've never done like the middle of the week or anything i, mean, uh, I think to say we can't well we could but usually i think we've done a friday well, we, and like a monday we, we have done a Thursday, but then, you know, you end up not coming in on Friday. <laughs> right, yeah. There's no way we're pulling it together to come in the next day after one of those as barnstormers of a live broadcast. So if you have any suggestions for that, let us know. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com, send an email. Eric on YouTube says, I think you should go to the Villages. They know how to drink. Just make sure you wear your MAGA hat, he says. Uh, all right, the Villages, I'm sure we got some fans. we allowed in if we're 55 and up? I thought that was uh, a whole rule. There, there are some very strict rules in that neighborhood, and they may try to keep us out, but we'll put it up on, on the on the option table. Uh, Invisible Man says, party at Sean's house. I'm going to have to decline. I'm going to have to turn that one Boo. down. Come we on, need man. To have it, we need to have it at a place where it's super accessible for everybody. We need to have this big summer blowout broadcast at uh, probably a bar, I would guess, just because we're going to party. And it needs to be a place where they're willing to have some fun and mix it up and, and allow a little bit of chaos because there'll be chaos for four hours or so as uh, that goes down. So let us know any ideas, tips to the news junkie.com. greatly appreciate it. Okay. We'll get to you and your dispatches in just a bit here. First revisiting that Baltimore bridge crash where the damn bridge, the massive container ship crashed into Francis Scott Key Bridge and took the whole thing down. And then afterwards, people were like, the federal government's going to pay for this. And I'm like, hey, hold on a second. How much is the insurance company and the ship owner? How much are they going to pay for this? Because they're kind of the ones who plowed into a bridge, right? Maybe they should be held responsible monetarily for this. I feel like that sets a bad precedent. In the United States of America, you could just mow down bridges and there are no consequences. You're like, ah, it was an accident. Sorry about that. There's now an investigation from the FBI into this. It's being handled by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Maryland and they said private law firms, multiple private law firms, separately announced they have been retained to represent the Baltimore Mayor's Office and some of the men who were working the construction on the bridge when it collapsed. So those are the folks who ended up uh, dying as a result or were injured. The move signals an escalating effort to seek accountability and determine what caused the crash that left six of the eight men dead. Now, one thing stunning that I saw was that this happens, the the container ships and the cargo ships and all those ships like that losing power a lot more than you think it does. This story from USA Today says, how many ships hit bridges and lose power every year? 
Data shows jarring numbers on the rise. Just oh, okay. prepare to feel great about our infrastructure here, all right? I've seen several videos already of people on social media approaching a bridge, and they pull mm-hmm. over to the side because they see another ship that's approaching. Yep. They're like, oh, I'm going to just play it safe. Think I'm going to wait that one oh, out. Oh, thank you. In the last 22 years, how many times do you think there's been issues with these ships losing power, the cargo ships losing power? What's your uh... guess? Over 22 years when they examined this, how many times did they have these big, gigantic container ships and oil tankers, and they lost power, and they're just out there careening towards whatever? What's your guess, uh, Sabrina? You know, glass half full. Let's say um, um, seven times. Seven times mm-hmm. in the last 22 years. Celine, what is your guess? We know what? of one, right? We we know it's like at least a shoe in for one. My guess of how many ships have lost power just... I've lost power in this style. They said uh, massive cargo ships, oil tank- tankers, container barges, those kind of ships that report a loss of power uh, and um, they can't control the gigantic ship that they're in for some period of time. How many in the last 22 years? 27. 27. So we've got seven and 27. The answer is 6,000. Oh, Six my dear God. thousand times in the last 22 years. All right, hold on. How did they You're manage the to math. avoid the catastrophe that we saw a couple months ago? Well, there's a lot of that. ocean out there. <laughs> it's an average of five times every single week where one of these cargo ships loses power. At least 900 of those occurred near bridges identified by the U.S. Department of Transportation as spanning navigable waters. Great. Happening right by the bridges, at least 900 of these. Some damaged both the ships and the structures they hit. Others left crew members with broken bones or other injuries. Or injuries. But most, including cases remarkably similar to what happened in Baltimore, have never been made public buried deep in a federal database. Isn't nice. that something else? Isn't that special? That's a lot of these ships that are just out there careening around without power right near the bridges. So uh, are you going to be the person, like Sabrina described, that... Maybe pulls over when you see that ship getting a little bit too close for comfort. I might consider it. I'm sure we're fine, but I might consider it. Uh, All right, let's work in a couple of dispatches real quick, and then we'll figure out what's happening uh, in just a moment here. Here is uh, uh, Butters is talking about Roger Waters because we started the show with John Mellencamp. He got upset that somebody was heckling him for talking about politics at his concert. Here's... Butters talking about Roger Waters. If you guys want a really, really political concert, go see Roger Waters. Uh huh. I've seen him now four times. Uh, the first time it was good. Second time it was just pretty good. Third time it was just it was a little political. Fourth time it was just in your face, everything in the background <laughs> and whatnot, whatnot was just all political. Check check out Roger Waters. It's crazy too with Roger Waters of Pink Floyd, right? Not yeah. screwing that up. Okay. Every time he comes through town, this tends to be a, a topic of, of discussion. They're like, and "Oh my p- gosh, the crazy political Roger Waters." He there's there's disclaimers. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's like if you're easily offended and you don't like political stuff, blah, blah, blah. but Roger Waters pisses everybody off because his politics are all over the place. He's mm-hmm. like a flopping fish out there with his politics. He doesn't stick Waters? on one side or the other. He just his politics are just offensive to everybody. And so you go see a concert, you pay a bunch of money, and you're going, "Well, I'll be." What are we dealing with here? And strikes some people as uh, not the best experience. What do you think? Let us know. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Send us a dispatch right now. More drama in the Golden Bachelor world. I think all the cards are about to fall down for our creepy Golden Bachelor. I think something's going to blow up in this guy's face in a big way. What is it? We'll dive into that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is The Jim Colbert Show. Later today on The Jim Colbert Show, it's only money. Our financial advice segment with Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth. We'll review the latest assignment for what you do that's new. All week for JCS Trivia, win them before you can buy them. Tickets to see Lewis Black at Hard Rock Live. Plus, your calls, texts, and talkbacks later today. The Jim Colbert Show. Today at 3 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. 
Authorities are still clearing up an accident on Apopka Vineland Road northbound before I-4 at Meadow Creek Drive. The right lane is blocked there. There's an earlier accident still causing a bit of delays on Colonial Drive eastbound at 9th Street. And on Good Homes Road, there's an accident there southbound at Old Winter Garden Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Feel plenty good by incorporating Silk into your morning routine. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 188-ADMINUTE. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. You can host the best backyard barbecue. When you find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. 
connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside, repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. The free iHeart Radio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like One Hit Wonders Radio. The greatest one hit wonders of all time. Ones you definitely remember. And ones that'll make you say, oh yeah. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search One Hit Wonders, and listen now. Commercial free. Free never sounded so good. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, green, G-R-E-E-N, green. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Real Send him your tips and your deepest, darkest secrets. Email tips at the... You're responsible for this somehow, some way. So much fault. so that it requires my death? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt you, or I don't want any harm to come your way. But it's just, it's frustrating because this, I could directly tie to you. I, I told you, Courtney was uh, trying to annoy me by saying it's a me Mario as many times as she possibly could the other day. Yeah, and uh, she would uh, surprise me with that uh, around the house. Now she has changed up this bit, and she's torturing me everywhere I go, and. She got a new one Ooh. because of your recommendation of that show, Dave. The, oh, with little Dicky, little, little Dave. Dicky show. And last He's night the she greatest. goes, she goes, do you want to watch some of this? And we put it on, and right from the jump, I'm like, what is this show? It's funny. <laughs> and I but said, you know, the show, sad. the show feels like uh, curb your enthusiasm for younger audiences to me. Yeah, That's what it kinda. feels like. It's like. Uh, it's got all those same kind of awkward vibes and weird social interactions. The and, music slaps too. And yeah, like his, his songs are, and I'd never heard of, I've heard of him before, but I wasn't familiar with any actual songs from Little Dicky before I started watching the, the series, Dave. But he, uh, he goes viral at one point in time. Are you up to the part in the episodes where he goes viral, C Lane? Uh, yeah. You guys just are, so you're just starting it too, C Lane. Just yeah. starting. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you're in for a real treat. And the thing that he goes viral for is what <laughs> so. Courtney won't stop doing around the house. Every corner I walk around, or she'll just like uh, bomb me with a text message of the somebody suck me thing. <laughs> <laughs> somebody <laughs> suck me. <laughs> oh. I'll just walk out of the living room and be like, somebody suck me. And I'll be like, my God, what is happening in my life? And if it wasn't for you, if you didn't say to recommend that, it would have been just a, a, a breeze in the night, as they say, as everyone says. Breeze in the it night. Would have, would have been nice and chill over here. By and the way, I, I have to be dealing with this. By the way, I, I got the notification on my phone that the uh, podcast was posted yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I went, yeah. This guy missed the boat. What? What I miss? On calling, on naming the show, uh, free chicken on the board. <laughs> oh man! You I, didn't? I, I thought no. for sure. You said it so much. We said it so many times. Sabrina more than me. I thought for sure that she was going to drill it in your head that the name of the show should be free chicken on the board. Oh, when you no. say it in a couple months, that's when he'll remember. Almost always, when there's something that is revisited multiple times, I'll make a little note and then I'll make that the title of the show. But I forgot to write that down because there was so much going on yesterday, a whirlwind of things. And uh, that, yes, that was a missed opportunity. You're absolutely right. Um, all right, we're going to hear from you. We got dispatches Somebody coming in. Somebody suck me. <laughs> we'll get to those in a moment. And that moment on the episode with the milking, when he's, <laughs> when they're How in the, the doll. garage door opens. And, then, and the doll, the doll, is, is, are those real? That's the creepiest thing I've ever seen, man. Well, and, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that they just like invented a 
a doll that doesn't exist just for the show. I mean, it's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be a thing. And, and I don't the know sex about those doll. Feet. The feet, though, that's the, the, the weird, no, creepy no. thing. That, that's not necessarily the biggest problem with the sex doll in the TV show, day, Dave. It's the stick that is the problem for me. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> his. That, okay. That, that I don't know if that came with it. That might be just his way of cleaning the doll. That's disgusting. A stick. Vile in every way. But it's a pretty funny show. <laughs> it, it, definitely. I, there would be a couple of parts where I zone out just a little bit, and then they get me back with something good. And I'd, and their sex scenes are so long and uncomfortable. And uh, you see, like, you see a lot of a lot of skin. A lot of skin in that show. But uh, I'm gonna I'm definitely going to binge the rest of that one because it is a good time. Uh, meanwhile, over on uh, television's other show, Golden Bachelor, which transfixed viewers in 2023, uh, a show that I say will never work. It will never work because old people get set in their ways. They get more and more set in their ways as the years go by. And thus, they're not going to move across the country to be with some other oldo that they fall in love with on The Golden Bachelor. They're going to want to stay in their homes. They're going to want to stay by their kids. They're going to stay with their, their grandkids. They got roots, baby. All the golden people have deep, deep, deep golden roots, and they are not, not going to move across the country, which is what happened here with The Golden Bachelor. And the goblin said, it's over. And uh, they, they said it in the most awkward way during like, an interview. You know, they, we are going to dissolve the marriage. It's so corny and weird how they were doing this. Teresa Niss, the goblin, she seems like a sweet lady to me. And maybe I'm wrong to do this, but I don't know. This scary guy, I, I, I don't trust it. Remember there was a story for a hot second about him, like, shoving a lady down the stairs or something? Like, there was <laughs> something with his ex where it did seem like something wasn't good that was happening there. And that got buried real quick in the news cycle. And then I go, I don't know about this guy. He just seems too sweet on television. We're going to learn something else about old Gary. And I think we might learn it sooner rather than later. A lot of people um, are, are, are on the there's something wrong with Gary train. Yeah, he Even seems. Too. Mm, I saw a tweet from Megan McCain. Res- said, respectfully, the people casting the next Golden Bachelor slash Bachelorette Need to hire political oppo researchers to vet their next principal. Okay. Gary was a, uh, like, they need to hire the same people that uh, research politicians. Dig up mud. You know, dig up stuff yeah. on politicians. Uh, she said Gary was a fraud and no one is surprised it didn't last. What, why is he a fraud? Did she say, like, what her example was? Oh, no, was? no, no. This, this is Twitter. She, she got her characters in. <laughs> she, made her, she made her point. She doesn't have to back it up. Yeah, I love that. that to bring it back to the um, Dave show. When he he typed that he just got oral yeah. on on Twitter, and she goes, "Did you just type that you you got that on Twitter?" And he goes, "Yeah." And she's like, "But you didn't." And he's like, "It's Twitter. You just write whatever. You just get a reaction out of you." She's like, "But I'm your girlfriend. People are gonna think that I just did that to you." <laughs> they went back and forth, and that's how it is. And I I look at this and I think she may be onto something, even though she's got no evidence so far. They said uh, the news came months after the couple first met on the spinoff of the popular dating show, The Bachelor. After Turner got to know uh, Nist a little bit more, they decided to take the romance to the next level. They got married on TV. They didn't even last but a couple of months before that was over. She says, the goblin says, for everybody else who's confused and angry and who does not understand, please try to find it in your heart to understand and to try a little kindness, not just for me, but for the world and everyone you encounter, which is a nice thing to say. Uh, she said, it was one of the most incredible experiences of my life, something I never expected to happen. I truly thought it was going to last forever. It turns out, even at the age of 70, you don't know everything. She says it's over for now. But still oh. seems like they're on a, like, they're, they're going to bang it out button. every quarter. Maybe. Just schedule something in, you know, pen something in for the two of them, Kermit and the Goblin, to, to knock boots or whatever they call it these days. Uh, um, knock, make this happen. Uh, make whoopee. Something. Make Whoopi. Uh, no. Just like those little slippers you get at the hotel. Make Whoopi's like the 70s or something. When we were talking about new lingo the other day. Make Whoopi. All it reminds me of is, was that the, the dating game or the honeymoon? Uh, what show is that where you used to say that? You no, know, I thought wh- a lot of them said it. Like that was just one of the things that, the, that your, your euphemism for 
having sex was that. But I think the the really popular clip was like, what would you say is so and so's favorite place to make whoopee? And <laughs> instead of a location <laughs> in the house, a location the on the body named a location on the body. <laughs> Good times. The butt. Good television. All right. Let's go over to a couple of dispatches real quick, and then we're going to find out what's happening on the next episode. Here goes nothing. Daddy Two Times is joining us. You had me at live events. You know, the one thing I miss more than live trivia is live events and the frequency with which they used to happen. It's a great opportunity for listeners to get together and meet each other, dispatchers, all that, uh, hang around the show, the cast and crew. It's a great freaking time for anyone who's never been. It just needs to happen more often like it used to. That's all I'm saying. And as far as where, um, how about on the beach? Let's bring in the weekend. If it's going to be a Friday, let's bring in the weekend early with a nice breeze along the coast, not dying in the Florida heat in the middle of Claremont. Mm. Might be something to keep in mind. Not not a bad idea there. Thank you Sand for the suggestion. Sand equipment. Yeah, sand and equipment don't mix super well. Unfortunately, that is that is an issue we're going to have to tackle. Uh, it's not that we don't like doing live events. In fact, we really like. We have a great time doing live events. It's one of the things we're really, really good at, going out and doing the show live, playing to the crowd, making it still fun to listen to on the radio, no matter where you are. We had, obviously, the pandemic uh, going on. And then after the pandemic, we had other things that were keeping us from doing a live broadcast that can't really go into. So it's not that we didn't want to do it. It was that couldn't really do it for for a brief time there. But now I think we can do it, and I think we're going to come back with a big summer live broadcast to remember. When we come back, the next episode with Sabrina, what's coming up on the next episode? What's coming up? On the next episode, if you want to be the very best and actually catch them all, then get ready for Antarctica, Charizards. The Blair Witch reboot is happening and very unwelcome by the original cast, crew, and overall human society. Plus, what's cooler than being cool? Rigor mortis. All that and so much more coming up on the next episode. And that is coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Here's your midday weather update. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner, and we've got a sunshine-filled and hot afternoon ahead. The high temperature in Orlando, 87 degrees. Tonight, we dip to the mid-60s. Tomorrow, even warmer, upper 80s. And you know what? By Thursday and Friday, we're in the 90s. In fact, by Saturday, I'm expecting a high of 94 degrees. It'll be near record heat. But the good news, it's not going to be muggy. It'll be a dry heat, so somewhat tolerable. Good news for the Orlando Sanford Air Show over at Sanford Airport this weekend. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Need a reboot? RC Hill here from RC Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at $15,900. 
the popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. Negative equity may be refinanced. Vehicle purchase price determines actual discount. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. People who suffer from allergies use Nasal Guard to prevent them. Nasal Guard's innovative gel and spray products protect you from all airborne allergens, no matter what the forecast holds. Visit Amazon, Walmart, or NasalGuard.com today. Breathe better this spring. NasalGuard.com. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for $3.79 post haste. ba da ba 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 Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. You can host the best backyard barbecue. When you find a professional on Angie to make your backyard the best around. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. things happening in the world of entertainment and beyond and guess what friend if you miss any of the show i got something for you it's the website go to the news and whilst over there you are going to see all of the links you need to subscribe to the podcast uh, i have been trying behind the scenes to help out the folks on spotify but i mean it's like i ask our company and our company goes it's not us it's spotify and then I go to try to like claim the podcast on Spotify and they've got it hooked up to an email address. I don't have access to. So they're and saying then, it's not us. It's you. Uh, they're wait, they're wait, just wait, dragging wait. their feet. An email address that was yours. 
And now an email address that is on our podcast feed from my heart that I don't have access to. It's mm-hmm. like one that they set up especially Booty Queen for, 69. The, for the podcast. And I need to have access to that to be able to take over the Spotify account and then like troubleshoot from there. I don't know. It's a, it's a nightmare. And then nobody seems to have any urgency in dealing with this. Yeah. But I'll keep giving it a shot and see what we can come up with. In the meantime, subscribe on iHeartRadio or anywhere else you get podcasts uh, or get the uh, the links over at thenewsjunkie.com. All right, let's get into it. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV and you can't possibly keep up with all of it, even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode with Sabrina. Hey, smoke weed every day. Hold up. The next episode brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don. ThatMortgageGuyDon.com. And of course, the Home Loans Radio Show. Perhaps you are looking to buy your first dream home, you cutie. Or maybe you're going to refinance the dream home you already own, you cutie. Well, work with uh, not only a cutie, but a genius, and it's That Mortgage Guy Dawn. Go to thatmortgageguydawn.com to get the process started. And any question that you have, you have direct access to the man himself. And if you have a quote already, want to know if it's the best deal, then you have a compare quote option right there on the website. So start the process today with an expert and a friend that you could trust by going to two, by going by dang on, bang on, dang on. Don't miss the book. Mortgage Guy It was a mere 21 years ago, 2003, CNN's website, which I can assume is CNN.com. Mm-hmm. They did a big old fat boo-boo and accidentally revealed obituaries prepared for people who hadn't died yet. Ugh. That included Ronald Reagan, who died a year later, Pope John Paul II, who died in 2005, two years later, Nelson Mandela, who died in 2013. Ten years after that, Fidel Castro, even longer, and Dick Cheney, who is still alive. You're a dumbass. Yeehaw. Well, technically, they got him all right, though. That's how, that's how it works. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he's still alive, Dick Cheney. Yeah, yeah, yeah dodged that bullet. Remember when he shot a guy in the face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> By shooting still... somebody. <laughs> Uh, quail well, hunting, li- right? A little, <laughs> little part of me. Well, one, I wonder how do you confuse a human with a quail? But two, if like, what does the obituary look like that is prepared for you? You uh-huh. know, what do they just mad mad libs it, or are they just going to use ChatGPT for folks like us? They tr- they tend to have like the whole. So when you look at a b- bigger obituary, you have Big like obit. the the most recent stuff on top and then they go through like their their whole profile so if it was michael jackson it would have been like an intro paragraph said michael jackson dead of blah 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 at this age and that and then it goes a born in this city and this year so they go back yeah like so they go through like the whole history so they write all that older stuff first well someone who uh actually did die and now the tributes be a pouring we say rest in peace see you on the other side to Rico Wade. Aww. Died at the age of 52. Key figure in Atlanta hip hop. And now many people are paying tribute to the music producer who worked on albums by Outkast, CeeLo Green, and helped write this song right here. Not that one. This one right here. Oh, waterfalls. That's yeah. right. Now he can chase those in heaven. He was one of the architects of Atlanta's Dirty South Hip Hop Sound, co-produced albums by Outkast, Goody Mob, CeeLo Green, co-wrote TLC's 1994 hit, Waterfalls. He has now passed away at the age of 52. Atlanta's mayor, Andre Dickens, paid tribute to Wade, saying he had led the creation of hip hop sound that has spanned decades in genres. Rico left an incredible uh, mark on music and culture around the world, and for that, the South will always have something to say. The family announced his death over the weekend, but gave no other details. But, of course, it uh, continues to outpour all the tributes. Killer Mike from Run the Jewels has mentioned something. I don't know where I'd be without y'all. Uh, also, uh, CeeLo Green, Ludacris, Buster Rhymes, Fat Joe, 
and former Atlanta mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, that's a fun last name, has uh, bid their farewell to Mr. Rico Wade. Did uh, not know him by name, but I do know his know work. Songs, for I sure. know those songs. And uh, speaking of dead people, you know this guy's Bronco. Hey, O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson is right. And that 1993 Ford Bronco conveniently is looking to be sold now that he Uh-oh. is D.E.A.D. Now they say it's currently on loan to the Alcatraz East Crime Museum in Tennessee. But the owners That's are... It's in a th- crime museum? That looks Bet fun. your ass. Thinking about selling, and they're hoping to get how much for it, at least. That's big, right? So, uh, they've had offers in the past, I'll tell you that. Um, there's been renewed interest in all the things OJ, obviously, so they are going to jack up this price. Yeah, never hotter than right now. Like, this is the moment to, this year to get rid of This year is the 30th anniversary. Yeah, that's perfect timing in the worst kind of way. I would say I think this is over a million bucks. I think this is this is big. I guess could bring people in. I'm gonna say one point two million dollars. All right, juice. Am am I juice? No, (laughs) that's your juice. That's some juice. You want to give some more juice to it? Four million dollars. Okay, too much juice. So it's one point five million is what they're looking for at the very least. I'm sure it shall go for more. Someone who is not dead, at least on the outside, is the lead singer of this band. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Courtney oh. Love. Courtney Love is right. I'll split the point. And why would you split the point? Well, because Hole is the band. Courtney you said Love this band. is the gal. Um, Fine, but I got extra things, so I get extra points about back no off. one gets points because you guys are arguing. And okay. I'll... Suck a shot. Okay. Cordy Love has a new BBC radio series. That was a good idea, BBC. <laughs> uh, called Courtney Loves Women. And the uh, newest way to promote it is by saying that she hates Taylor Swift. All right. That's yeah. that's one way to come out swinging with your Courtney Loves Women podcast. Uh, she says, and I quote, Taylor's not important. She might be a safe space for girls. And she's probably the Madonna of now. But she's not interesting as an artist, as Courtney Love. And if provoking, yeah, it's coming from somebody who was so interesting as an artist. Mm-hmm. I mean, anyways, she also thinks <laughs> the idea of Beyonce doing a country record because it's about black women going into spaces where previously only white women have has has been allowed. I just don't like her music, and she hasn't liked Lana Del Rey since she released a cover of John Denver's "Take Me Home, Country Roads." Oh, uh, so she's just crapping all over everything, is what she's doing. Does she actually love it. women? It's an ironic title, you guys. Uh, it's crazy. Blair Witch Project. I believe it was late last week that I announced the reboot of it. Uh huh. Um, Twenty-five years later, and now uh, twenty-five years and a couple days later, Joshua Leonard posted on Instagram saying that he and his collaborators, him being uh, one of the original cast crew, I believe even the the writer of it, says that he feels both icky and classless because of this reboot. It has been 25 years of disrespect, says Joshua. Doesn't feel like we need it. I no, feel that I feel like it, they are going to ruin it, to be honest with you. Yeah, and they're, they're going to probably put more budget into it. That's the whole thing. Yeah, it was about like the camcorders. Yeah, it was being like low, lo-fi style. So they say uh, the original Blair Witch star Joshua Leonard said he was caught off guard by the recent CinemaCon news that Lionsgate and Blumhouse are reviving the horror franchise into a new movie. He says the weird part is that I didn't know anything about it until a friend sent me a congrats screenshot yesterday. I've been thinking a lot about this time after seeing my BWP collaborators recently and sharing memories, sweet and effed up ones, alongside Heather Donahue and Michael C. Williams in the 1999 movie. They say uh, it has been nothing but disrespect for a quarter of a century. So looking forward to that. And the disrespect continues. We now have a student in big old trouble to the point where her entire university has had to speak upon it. Student at Indiana State University receiving tons of backlash for recording an extremely racist video about Beyonce. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, it's on TikTok, and it was, I guess in response to her latest album, Cowboy Carter. Uh, she dropped Never heard that. Of it. Yeah. Well, get ready, buddy, because it is going to be the next greatest thing. 
and continues to be. It was uh, late March, Act 2 of the three-part project, features Dolly Parton, Miley Cyrus, Post Malone, this ISU student, her name is Asa Blayton, Blatton, and she posted a video on her TikTok and said, oh, I'll let her say it. How about that? Are you All right. Black? You're not black. So I just want to, off the bat, I tried my hardest to kind of enhance this audio because, of course, she deleted it immediately. Mm-hmm. This is a recording of a recording. Oh, no. Uh, it starts off with, if you're black. And, um, yeah. But if you're black, you're not country. I, I don't care. Like, it, and I wish I meant that in the nicest way. But, like, <laughs> what? I know you were raised in the country, or your grandparents were, I guess. Your great granny and grandpas. But they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. Did you hear that? It wasn't planting, did she say? They, is it? She said they, they was, was picking. They was picking. They wasn't planting. Oh. I keep that in mind. They wasn't making money. I was getting sold for money. Who is it that they said this? They weren't making money. They were getting sold for. This was a student over at Indiana State University. And Damn. How do you make it all the way to like a big college like that? And do something this <laughs> stupid? You're that dumb. <laughs> ISU President Deborah Curtis issued a statement after the student's video gained a lot of attention upon learning that a racist video from an Indiana State University student was posted online. We immediately worked with the Vice President for Student Affairs to identify the student, communicate directly with student leaders, and strategize how to prioritize student well-being and safety. Racism, hate speech, and discrimination of any kind is deplorable and in direct contradiction of Indiana State's mission, vision, and values. Students' comments in the video no way represent the ideals and goals of Indiana State University. We are appalled by the sentiments expressed in the videos and condemn those comments in the strongest terms. Rampant information spreading online, adding that the privacy of the students, due process, and actions taken by the university cannot be shared. So woof times a thousand, but absolutely deplorable indeed. So good luck to you and the rest of your life. Special cases Gow. on Twitch says country music isn't even country now. It's just southern accents over trap beats. Is it? I, I don't some know of it is. Uh, I I only know like some of the names of the new country guys. I haven't listened to that much. And then I don't even know if some of them are country. Like, is Jelly Roll country, or is that mainstream? Pop or is that? I rock? thought he was a rapper. Or Can tell you. Is that he used to be a rapper? Top he 40. was a rapper. It's played on top forty. Mm-hmm. It sounds it like says rock, country singer, rapper, and songwriter. Well, there you go. Okay, yeah, I guess you could just call yourself whatever you want. Well, uh, or you could just take your ass to Antarctica if you are still playing the very popular game that is. Pokemon. 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 Pokemon Go, to be exact. Two Who's sci- still playing? I don't know, but two scientists working in Antarctica learned that their shared love for Pokemon Go have now had their pleas answered because they have created a Pokemon Go stop in Antarctica, the very remote uh, research station. And they discovered their love for Pokemon Go when Hennessy's partner, Alexandra, successfully asked uh, Niant- Niantic, that's the Pokemon Go um, the company, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Company via Reddit to add the station to the game. Speaking to the Independent, Hennessy said, my partner had asked the question on the official page, and it was more of a shock when I found out that our doc, Rizzo, had requested a Pokemon Stop 2, and then, boom, they added it. But it leads me to think that that might be dangerous if there's some crazy-ass kid or adult, male or female, that wants to complete all the Pokemon Go stops. And ends up I in Antarctica. Love that there are still people doing this. What year was the big year? 2020. Was it 20? Oh, oh was it? my God. Was it that long ago? It launched in 2016. Uh, it definitely had an uptick during COVID because yeah. it didn't do anything else. But but it was the biggest in that first year when oh, yeah. people were running out into traffic. And, and I just don't even think of anybody playing that anymore. But I guess there are still people does, on, on Pokemon. Does that mean that the folks at Niantic, Niantic just like uh, open the, the back end of Pokemon Go and just drag and drop a couple characters onto the uh, uh, Antarctica and call it a day? Yeah, I guess. But then, I mean, how does anyone get it except for the two scientists that are there by themselves? I mean, there's ways of getting to Antarctica. I just I, I find it uh, hilarious to think that there would be some expedition going there. We're going and, to Antarctica. And, and of, What's the Wi-Fi password? Of the 20 people, 
you know, there'd be 19 of them that are super excited to see the the uh, the snow and all the landscape and, uh, and, and the craziness. And then that one person's like, okay, but I need to get to my Pokemon. So uh, you guys <laughs> wrap, wrap it up, up, please. On yeah. the boob tube, uh, speaking of wrapping it up, I must do that. An American bombing the road to April 19th on HBO. That's looking into the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. Fun. Mm-hmm. Episode nine Calling of- it an American bombing? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, odd flex. Episode 9 of Shogun on FX, Password on NBC, stand-up special Jimmy Carr, Natural Born Killer on Netflix, and you can catch Nick Offerman and the Vice President Kamala Harris on Kimmel. Follow your dreams on me on Instagram at Sabrina Amber, and most importantly, stay with me, America. Smoke weed every day. Thank you, Sabrina. When we come back, we'll hear from you. Plus, there's something that's been happening out there. It's starting to gain popularity. And I want to see what everybody actually thinks about it. Like, do we actually think this is a good thing? We'll dive into that. I'll explain. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Authorities are clearing up an accident on U.S. 27 southbound at Holly Hill Road. Two left lanes are blocked there. The right lane is closed due to construction, causing a bit of delays on Florida's Turnpike southbound south of County Road 470. And on I-4, it's pretty mellow. There's just a bit of congestion eastbound between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Berman. Him. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. As a parent, you're probably unsure what college will look like for your child in the future. Rest assured, Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. There's no way to know what type of higher education your child will pursue years from now. But whether it's a two-year state college, four-year university, trade, or technical school, in state or out, our flexible 529 prepaid plans will help you pay for it, starting at just $34 a month. So you can plan on giving your child the best future possible. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Handyman knows how to get things done. Count on Handyman Roofing to get it done. Handyman Roofing to get it done. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah and Hoda. Now, this week, the Today Show brings Paris to our plaza. And Wednesday, America's best athletes are here live to celebrate 100 days to go. So join us this week on Today on NBC. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank, National Association, member FDIC. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMIT-IT. 
Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. April is Stress Awareness Month, and of course, stress is your body's natural response to pressure. It's also linked to six leading causes of death, and that includes heart disease and cancer. Often, those do not have symptoms. As a matter of fact, we know that many patients who have heart disease, their very first symptom was sudden death, and we also know that many life situations or life events can cause you stress. Let Life Imaging FLA and their free heart scan make sure that you're fine. My mother and father-in-law did this, and the relief they got from a clear scan was unbelievable. And remember, there are no dyes, no injections. You don't have to take your clothes off. The entire thing only lasts about 10 minutes. Do what I did. Get that free heart scan from Life Imaging FLA. Remember, just a few minimum requirements, but it is a $699 value, and it's easy to make your appointment. Just pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. They will connect you in seconds. Make that call today, guys. Make 2024 the year. You take care of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from my heart media enjoying the news junkie you've probably heard a ton of injury attorney commercials but if you are injured and need a lawyer who's the right lawyer for you that's why we offer our 30-day risk-free trial if you are not 100 percent satisfied with the way we treat you and your case within the first 30 days you can take your file back and you owe us nothing no fees no costs and no questions asked injured on the go just call mo.com go to just call mo.com Mo DeWitt, Orlando attorney. Moments like making my kids my famous meatballs mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Palbocyclop. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah Guthrie. I'm Oda Coffee from the Today Show. We are so excited to kick off our celebration. Yeah, this week, before the world gathers in the City of Light, today is bringing its magic of Paris to the plaza. And Wednesday, it's just 100 days to go. Team USA hopefuls and champions will be taking over all morning for a huge party. It's going to be epic, so join us this week on NBC. Because today is where the games begin. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, HAPPY, H-A-P-P-Y, HAPPY. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. Get to an email rolling in with a brand new 
Interesting, we'll say, product that I want to run by you here. Mark on YouTube with Shots Fired. He says, we were speaking about uh, country music, and he says, the last real country music was released in the late 90s. Then Faith Hill released This Kiss, which wasn't bad, and that started the pop country crap that we have today, says Mark. Uh, oh, man, this do I remember that banger, time. Man. I remember that time. I remember songs like, there was one called Neon Moon. Um, you had Watermelon Crawl, which you might remember, uh, Chattahoochee, and like Seminole Wind, all these songs that came out, and all of them, it was so corny. I loved it, but it was like, I mean, are you going to tell me Chattahoochee isn't a corny song? I like, don't remember that one. You don't oh. remember Chattahoochee? Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a big song at the time, but it's all cornball stuff. It was not like cool outlaw country type music. Yeah, but Chattahoochee. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to compare that to like Boots Coot and Boogie. Would that be uh, <laughs> the same time? Yeah. Like, like some of them. Some of them were songs that like were just supposed to be line dancing songs. Put it this way: you would never see a car in a movie where they were supposed to look cool and intimidating blaring any of those 90s country songs because the music was not intimidating it was where corny. did you come from where and go and i don't know cotton eye joe uh old cotton eye joe uh where do you even land that band i don't know country. Uh, you think so country i don't it's like it feels like something different it's like it's like saying what kind of music is chumbo wumba to me and i go i don't know <laughs> whatever they do their thing is a whole different thing but Money 90s, maker. That's exactly 90s, where you put it. 90s country music was catchy. It was fun. It seemed like um, kind of innocent. Like it, like it seemed like a, just a good time. And then everything changed. And now a lot of this stuff, it's just not for me. I'm not into it. I can't tell what it's trying to be. And I don't know how a, a genre comes back from it. And all music is like become rap and pop. Like almost everything has been pulled into that world because those two formats have been so massive and so successful in rock and country country's done much better than rock, but rock has had major issues over the last decade or so. Like when you think about big rock bands right now, here's one way to figure it out. Think about a big show, like welcome to Rockville or something, mm -hmm. you know, where they do like days and days and days of, of the shows and look on there for the new bands. You'll be looking for a little while because most of the bands are bands from the 90s, the 80s, the yeah. 2000s. If anything, with all this new music that kind of has multiple genres involved, nostalgia is also thriving mm -hmm. more than ever. I mean, they're People like, think about my, next episode almost always includes some sort of reboot from the 90s or the right. late, uh, early 2000s. Yeah. Because that's. I don't know. I guess where Why the money's is at. Are we, I don't are know. We, are they we know millennials a, just want to go back to the easier times. What, but are we in a cultureless generation right now? Are we in a, we a, just a time and place where people aren't making great stuff and they have to go back to the archives? One of my theories, a working theory on this, is that for the first time ever in the last decade or two, you might say, the music quality, much like television broadcast quality, pretty much peaked. And all the music sounds pretty high quality. So if you listen to a song, even from the early 2000s, even some of them uh, from like the late 90s, it sounds like a high quality song. If you did that previously, so let's say you go from right now to 1995, you can listen to Nirvana's Nevermind album or Pearl Jam 10 those are very well-recorded, pristine albums that audibly hold up to today. But if you did that very same thing backwards from 1995, you would be playing songs from 1965. And I don't think many people are going to argue that those songs sound the same. So all the music kind of sounds like it could come from right now. It all sounds like it's all high quality. And kids don't care if it's new or old or anything. I, I walk by each day the high school nearby and these girls are out there playing Wait. softball. Okay. You're allowed back there. Yeah. I'm allowed. I was never banned from there. I'm not a weirdo. Wear that, a uh, that suit that makes you look like a bush. I don't wear the ghillie suit out there at the high school. I don't do any of that, 
Well, but well, I didn't know what it was called. When we <laughs> That's why I feel like I described it just fine. Thank you. When when we walk by there, because it happens to be along our route each day, the girls who are playing the music out there, they're not playing a ton of new stuff. They're playing DMX. They're playing Nelly. They're playing Outcast. They're playing Music that you probably grew up listening hey, to. Are the high schoolers the ones playing them? Or are you, yes. hear, are you hearing like some sort They're of... They're coaches. Yeah. No. No, it's the how high you, school... Because there's, no, there's not even a coach out there. They're just out there themselves with their own like Bluetooth speaker where they're hanging out and they're playing these, these songs. It's They don't care when the music came slaps. from. slaps. I think it might. And the, they don't like the new stuff nearly as much. Like I, some of the some of the newer rap music doesn't travel as well. It doesn't, you know, it just doesn't hold up as well to the test of time. Musicians right now are famous for like five seconds, man. These rappers come out and they become a huge deal and they play to massive crowds and they become number one on the streaming platforms. And then really quickly, it's on to the next one, on to the next one, on to the next one. On the shelf life is like so short right now for any of these musicians. And I had a bad time to release my new rap song. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's, maybe right now there's appetite for some stuff. that's a little bit different and people would go for it. Tanya says, give me the classics, the old Dolly, Waylon, Willie, and Kenny Rogers, the good stuff. Now it's something different. Now it's not to say it's not successful. Country music is still very popular. And if, especially if you consider jelly roll country music, that's a breakthrough artist, but I don't really consider that country. I think Jelly Roll is a is the guy who comes around every 10 years and plays rock music to country fans. He is the kid rock of right now. It happens every 10 years. There's somebody who comes out in the rock world and they go, hey, the country music world is actually liking your album as well. All right, cool. I'll be a country star. And I'll, I'll I'll play to that community. Happens all the time. Kid Rock and uh, every every single generation, there's somebody that bridges that gap over. All right, what do you think? Let us know. Send us a dispatch. But first to this email I talked about, tips at the news junkie.com. Scott says, hey, Sean, thought you might find this interesting. Paintball blasting security cameras. And he sends over this product. Check this out. Startup pitches a paintball armed AI powered home security camera. Ooh. And it's a camera for your house where you can shoot paintballs at people if I guess you had like a porch pirate or something. Okay, well coming after you. I mean, good and, luck with that. Sucks for the USPS, Amazon, anyone who wants to perhaps bring you um Uber Eats. You there don't you shoot paintball. everybody. You only shoot the bad guys who are showing up at your house. Those are the folks you shoot. But this goes back to the argument we always have about booby traps, injuring people from afar. And like, if you shoot somebody with that paintball and you hurt them, you're probably going to get into a world of trouble. You're not going to be immune just because it's your I mean, camera shooting the paintball. I'm sure it's not like a paintball gun, though. It, it might not be as powerful because it's too small of a form factor. I think to be as powerful as an actual paintball gun, it might just be flinging really like weak paintballs that would. I don't know. And now, now what are we doing? Now, just making them have stains on their shirts. It says does the paint Slo- stink? Let's ask. The Sylvania-based company called OZ IT recently announced Paint Cam Eve, a line of autonomous property monitoring devices that will utilize motion detection and facial recognition to guard against supposed intruders. So sounds racist. You, you're going to be shooting at deers. You're going to be shooting at the male people. You're going to be shooting at anybody that like flags your AI or your facial recognition. Yeah. It's a experience. I mean, think oh, about the, the, the bird feeder I just got. Mm-hmm. That is also supposed to identify and give me notifications when birds are actually feeding from it. Yeah. How many times that like, just the wind blows? And it's like, it goes on. something's eating from there. Well, that wouldn't be good with this. This is a commercial, I think, for it. Let's see. Picture a man named Bob. All right. A hardworking family man whose top priority is ensuring the safety of his loved ones. Despite having a home fortified oh with security systems, wow. he found himself lacking a crucial element, the ability hey, to actively deter intruders. And so he created me. 
I'm Eve. I would say it was jokey, but the product looks decent. It actually looks like it's well made if this is really it right here. So it doesn't seem like it's a joke. AI-powered robotic security system equipped with an integrated paintball launcher, face recognition, and sound dispatchers, which allows me to recognize intruders and stop them right, in their shoot tracks. people. Let's see this then. I am computed to examine my owner's property. Upon detecting unknown entities, I dispatch the message. You are identified as a non-authorized personnel. My God. Daddy. You're, you're a non-authorized personnel. This guy is far away from this camera. There's no shot that a paintball shot from a camera that far is going to do any damage. You have five seconds to leave the property. Uh-oh. Five. Four. Three, Light them up. Two, one, zero compliance, zero tolerance. No, okay. Bob and I are okay. Okay. Hold on. just got paint on them. Oh, hold on. <laughs> the the sound of the paintball shooting out of that device is, is not the sound that it makes. Also, <laughs> it being so far away, I think gives enough time for the perp to step to the left. I could duck and roll and get away. <laughs> this, is, this doesn't seem that scary at all. Like, I feel like the burglar would go, whoa, it's counting down. And the burglar Dude. would get shot and be like, that's it? All right. Well, <laughs> I'm, keep I'm, going. I'm, I'm definitely going to still rob your house. This is, this is going to be easier for me. And meanwhile, if the perp takes out a paintball of their own, they paintball up the lens on the camera, and then you can't see a damn thing. <laughs> this thing is dumb. The voice, uh, <laughs> your unauthorized thing. We, yeah. we have a we have a camera uh, in the lobby at the building here, mm -hmm. and if uh, if I go out the door where I have to walk by the camera, the camera goes, "You are being recorded." And I'm like, "That is what? Do That's I, a no I go, Hi. creepy." It's me. It's so my weird. That's weird. Yeah, it's not as intimidating as they think it is. It's more just bad. Uh, what do or you think? Or they're just disclosing it. Uh, let us know. Go over to thenewsjunkie.com and hit us, uh, or send us, rather, a dispatch. Hit record on Five, that dispatch. Four. Right now. I think I would laugh in the face of this thing. I would be like, I tried oh, to dodge no. him. I'm like, what else you got, Eve? <laughs> I got a tiny little blotch of paint on my shirt right now. How will I ever recover from this? Well, let us know what you think. Would you buy one of these? I put it up on See It Now. So if you want to check that out on the website, thenewsjunkie.com, like it's the, up there for you. The mock-ups of it have it like raining uh, uh, a, a gunfire like level of paintballs. <laughs> you know. forget to refill it. They look like an idiot. I don't even know where the where the ammo goes. No, like, there's not enough space in the camera itself to yeah. hold a significant amount of the paintball bullets. Okay, but a part of me still wants to get one. I'd like to play with it. I think it. it would just be fun for, like, a party. You know, oh, like, yeah. all right, guys, we've uh, done beer pong. That's over. Let's try to dodge Eve's bullets. Well, don't you think they kind of leaned into the wrong company here? Like, the technology could just be that you create a paintball game where people can play against the cameras and the cameras like cool. shoot at you and like you got a newfangled game of tag going on and that would be fun and it doesn't have to be like big scary camera protect your house that doesn't work as much for me i don't think that's the hit that they think it is also to tips at the news junkie.com following up on a story yesterday anonymous please and you shall stay anonymous this is about the Indian weddings you talked about. Hi, I'm Indian, but was born and raised in Orlando. I was married in 2004, and we wanted a small destination wedding, family only. We were vetoed by my family and ended up with a huge three-day wedding, he says. Nice. My parents spent $100,000 in 2004 monies for this event. It was beautiful, and I'm not at all complaining, but honestly, I think it was a waste of money. However, culturally, it's important to have a proper wedding for your child. It is expected and is totally against the norm to not have a big event. In the past, weddings were the last time you would see your daughter as she was sent off to her new family. Even though this is no longer the situation for most girls in India, the weddings have only become more grand. Sabrina, Indians will spend more money than they have on a wedding. It's a status symbol and is expected. Sean was right. Also, we didn't get more than 2 k in cash as gifts and we actually got some pretty terrible gifts, like a wall clock that was a huge watch. 
Think those old swatch watch clocks, but golden tacky and a pierced plate set that had blue ribbons. Very odd. So don't count on that to help pay for the wedding. My parents are awesome, and we're only tr- we're only trying to do the best they could for me. I appreciate them very much, and I appreciate my husband for doing all the things they did for the Indian wedding, even though he's not Indian and a reg, as Sabrina said. <laughs> all right, thank you for that. I, I appreciate it. Spoke, but you uh, know what I meant. You know what? It's it's crazy to me how uh, like how big that stuff gets, and I, it's a shame that there's like overspending and all that happening. But when things become cultural, there's no bigger forces than cultural forces. That guides absolutely everything. And India has made a lot of changes. For one thing, India is owning it. India and Pakistan have all the programmers right now. You wonder where we lose our jobs to. India and Pakistan. Not, Sticking of jobs. Not, not like the jobs you thought the Mexicans were taking, right? When you were whining about that. These are the actual big dollar jobs that programmers get. They're going to India. They're going to Pakistan. These people are better at the job than most of the Americans who do it. They speak perfect English in most cases now when they're operating on that high of a level. I've worked directly with people who do this. I know this. I experienced this. And they've pulled a lot of folks in India out of poverty. And with that has come a sweep of this new money. So I think it's only made things more intense and i don't know it's kind of fun to watch in a way when we come back gordon ramsay is angry that sounds kind of par for the course but what he's angry about this time well this one should keep your attention wait until you see what somebody did to gordon ramsay that's coming up next on the news junkie real radio it, 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 it is the monsters in the I don't, I don't know, and I can't think of one that... Uh, that... Yeah, there's got to be something out there, but it's just really hard. What? The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. Traffic is moving steadily on I-4. Nothing major to worry about there. Authorities are clearing up an earlier accident, still causing a bit of commotion here on Apopka Vineland Road, northbound before I-4 at Meadow Creek Drive. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429 or the Greenway. But if you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou at Term Provider, 800-777-1979. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems, and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-777-1979. That's 800-777-1979. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. Need a reboot? R.C. Hill here from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Spring has sprung, so let's have some fun. This month, I'll help you reboot your old ride and save up to $8,000 on a new Mitsubishi. So if your old ride's a hunk of junk, don't let it leave you in a funk. You can even drive a new car today with a lifetime warranty. Like the Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon starting at 159 the popular Eclipse Cross, in stock and ready for delivery. Or the 2024 Outlander, five-star safety rated, starting at 23.9. So if you've been dreaming of driving a new RC Hill Mitsubishi, don't get your wires crossed, because my team works hard every day, and that's what makes us different. So this week, reboot your old ride, and you could save up to $8,000 on a nicer, newer car. But hurry, a deal this good will shut down fast. I'm RC Hill, and I'm your car dealer next door. Two locations, Delan and Ocala. See all my trendy rides at rchill.com that's rchill.com credit requires bank approval negative equity may be refitting at vehicle purchase price determines actual discount hey there it's russ rollins i'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at
at their cold swimming pools, it's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. I'm tired of everything being so expensive in 2024. Ooh, so I turned my truck into a time machine to travel back in time. I'm just going to press this button and... Holy cow, I think it worked. Let's see what happens if I buy something at this drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to choose any two for $3.79? <laughs> it did work. Uh, uh, yes, my good lady. And what does $3.79 buy me in this bygone day and time? Well, you can get a McChicken, a McDouble, a four-piece chicken McNuggets, a small fries, or a small soft drink. Choose any two. What a delight. I'll have the McDouble and a small fries. Uh, just $3.79, you say? Yes, sir. Just one more question. Do you know what year it is? Uh, it's 2024, sir? Uh-huh. I see. I see. The button I pressed changed the radio station. Very good. Very good. I'll take the McDouble and the small fries for $3.79 post haste. ba da ba 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 Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. Moments like hearing my cat purr good morning mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrand's Pelbacyclib. Ibrand's 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrand's and visit Ibrand's.com. Ibrand's may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand's may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand's, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Hi guys, Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website. Happy. H-A-P-P-Y. Happy. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. He won't hesitate to call you out when you're being a little ASCII. This is the new. I want to miss, but right now, let's talk about kitchens for a hot second. Love and a good kitchen. We start off with this one. I don't know if this was predictable or not, but those remember those ghost kitchens? We started talking a lot, especially during the pandemic, about 
all the ghost kitchens that were popping up. Well, I remember before, uh, slightly before the pandemic, or when when Uber Eats was like, you know, uh, was jumping off. DoorDash had already been around, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we we had some others that were kind of working their way into the system. And I was like, I'm thinking like if you you could join this. I, I was like, do you have to prove that you're a real restaurant, or what if there was just somebody like. You know, making soul food, you know, in their, in their kitchen, just like, uh, and 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 letting drivers come up and just like, up oh, here you go, send it out. I'm sure that happened. I'm sure that occurred just because there's so many places out there that you would have to vet. Uh, I Mostly, I think they require it to be like an actual kitchen that's inspected and stuff. But the ghost kitchens that were popping up became big business. You mm-hmm. had all these companies out there and they said, we can have our book of the Beppo. And then in the off hours... We can turn this into a Mr. Beast burger or whatever other place we want to be. Seems so sneaky. Nobody knew where this food was coming from. Nobody I mean, knew wh- where it was being made. You do know where it's coming from. There's an address on it. Like There is. And a lot of people have taken to like comparing the addresses. And you would. I mean, depends on how hungry you are and how much effort you want to put in. But I, I've mm-hmm. absolutely seen videos where like, this place... And this place and six other places are the same TGI Fridays. Yep. Yeah. I remember when they, they started like uncovering these uh, during the pandemic. One of my favorite ones was Chuck E. Cheese. Pasquale's. Like a, <laughs> Pasquale's pizza. And, they, and you would go to pick it up and you're just picking it up from a Chuck E. Cheese. And they go, well, no, no, no. The Uber driver. That's the thing. The Uber driver was picking it up from the Chuck E. Cheese. So unless the Uber driver rats them out. They just they deliver you your Pasquale's and they're like, oh, this pizza's great. Maybe we'll have to actually go there sometime. Yeah, you had a lot of these people, uh, influencers would team up with them and they do anything from cookies to, you know, like I said, Mr. Beast Burger. And now ghost kitchens are disappearing like crazy. Really? One, How so? They said um, on a recent afternoon from the New York Times, they talk about this. Uh, they said ghost kitchens are disappearing, squeezed by demand and complaints. Excuse me, I didn't realize it was a loop. And they said investors plowed billions of dollars into the space and startups and established companies made plans to expand. Some Kroger sco- stores had ghost kitchens and Wendy's announced plans in 2021 to open 700 delivery only locations. And then everything collapsed, they said. And they're uh-huh. talking about how all these places have been shutting down and uh, like Denny's used to do this. They, I don't think they have their ghost kitchens anymore. Uh, they had well, Burger okay. Den and the meltdown. Uh, Here's the, my question is what is it that's being uh, phased out? Is it because uh, at first it was VDC, which is the guy um, from uh, Planet, Planet Hollywood, Hollywood. right? Mm-hmm. And VDC, they did Mr. Beast Burger, and they would offer up to restaurants that didn't have a lot going on, say, hey, your kitchen's not being used very much, or it's, you know, your uh, your profit is low. We can help you, you know, continue to get work by delivering stuff. And then there's the ghost kitchen where, like, Wendy's was announcing literally that they were going to open 700 stores that you could not walk into and order uh, a, a junior bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. So like the, for example, we have a white castle in town and then right next to the white castle, they have a delivery only white correct. castle. And that's, I view that as different actually in some ways. I think it is too, but I like it because that damn white castle is uh, insane to get through. Yeah, it gets busy. It really, truly does. But they said the the ghost kitchens are disappearing. A lot of them are shutting down. There's been huge problems with the Mr. Beast chain and, and all the issues there. If you know, if you're on the inside, let us know. Either tips at the news, junkie.com, or send us a dispatch right now. Over to another kitchen. Gordon Ramsay is angry. He's fuming. What he has is happened? pissed off. Because squatters took over his pub, they said. <laughs> oh he's in, he's got like a 13 million pound, like $15 million plus pub. And how did you get squatters in there? Six people shacked up inside of his place in London. And this is a really nice building that they're in. They said they broke into the pub. They boarded up the windows and they taped up a legal warning on the door. They've named themselves the occupiers. They expressed their right to occupy the venue by Regent Park as Ramsey made a seemingly useless call to the police. So he called the cops. As the group can exercise their squatters, right? 
because it's not a residential property. The Metropolitan Police issued a statement. It's a civil matter, and so the police do not oh, attend. Oh, that stinks. So, like, he's serving papers to the squatters, and they were they started their own restaurant out of the building. They started a cafe <laughs> there. <laughs> they were like, so they here get we food go. Delivered. Maybe and all of that. Just run a straight up restaurant. Yeah, they they said there were the Camden Art Cafe. And they were using Gordon Ramsay's kitchen appliances to barricade themselves in. They glued locks to the building shut. And then they said, apologies, everybody who is going to come along today. Papers were served. The cafe has been canceled. Take notice. We occupy this property. And at all times, there's at least one person in occupation. Gordon Ramsay wants them out immediately. Let's go over to you and your dispatches. we got to see what you have on your mind and we'll start with this. Here's Bengal STK with a dispatch for us. Chili's had a couple ghost ch- uh, kitchens. They had um, huh? It's Just Wings, uh-huh. which I believe is still out there. And then they also were doing their uh, sister company, uh, Maggiano's Classics. Uh, that we were running out of uh, Chili's Kitchens and made it uh, made it quite fun at some times when you would be getting your uh, butt kicked in-house and then uh, having to also send out that too. Fun stuff. Two restaurants okay. at once. Yeah, he, he actually kind of brings up something that we, we already really talked about, but the other ghost kitchen was the sell the same food that we sell under a different name. There was mm-hmm. sell food that we don't sell. That's Buca de Peppo where you get the Beast Burger. You can't get the Beast Burger inside of Buca de Peppo. But it's no. made there. Then they sell the same food that we sell, where Tijuana Flats had a different name for their wings location, or Boston Market became yeah, Boston Market had one. What was it, Market Grill or, or something Rotisserie like, Grill? It sounded like a little fancier than a Boston right. Market, and but it was the you same, food. the same food. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So That's sad I, for like, Boston. It it really was big for a hot second, but now and there's a lot of people like this. Somebody on, on chat that's talking about how is anybody affording this? It's all so expensive to use the delivery apps and to, to spend money on that. Uh, that's one of the problems that they have. People are cutting back. The economy isn't fantastic. Things are not great. We've got inflation still wreaking havoc on this country. And so where do you cut back? Well, you cut back on not getting so many deliveries. You don't want to just waste money. I know even I, from time to time, I'll be like, you know what? We're not getting Chick-fil-A. We're not getting Chick-fil-A. I can't bring myself to pay $43 for two people to get Chick-fil-A. We've got to go to the store or we got to get something else. And it just, I, it seems stupid, but. You need to use the app, man. Uh, I know. That deals but, on it all the time. I know, but it's still more expensive than if you go. to you. The yeah, and they, got like, they have like a little Chick-fil-A car and stuff. I've seen but them. They're in 10 minutes. But it's still more expensive than it is at Chick-fil-A. It's, there's still a premium that you have to pay to get that stuff delivered. And if you don't pay attention, which for a while, nobody was paying attention. Everybody's just get it, deliver it, deliver it to me. It stacks up real fast. That's, that's a lot of money going down the drain. All right. Uh, we want to hear from you. We'll get to more of these dispatches in jury duty. Trump is in court. What is happening behind those courtroom doors? We'll peek in and We also have an update on the Rust trial that is incredibly surprising. And it's coming up next on the News Junkie. Smart speakers can't stop you from saying stupid stuff when you're coming out of anesthesia. When I grow up, I want to be a puppy. But they can't play real radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. All you got to do is ask. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. As we get closer to the NFL Draft Week, one of the big questions, where will J.J. McCarthy land? Minnesota and New England have the most buzz, but the Vikings make the most sense. An offensive coach, a ready-made roster. The Patriots have a rookie defensive head coach, an abysmal roster. In the cold and windy Northeast, fingers crossed for J.J. that it's Minnesota where he lands. I'm Colin Cowherd. Check out what DraftKings has to offer this season with Code Sports because life's more fun when you're in on the action. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Age and eligibility restrictions apply. Void or prohibited? See DraftKings.com for details. Every parent wants their child to find happiness in whatever path they choose. Florida Prepaid has a plan to help you support them by affordably and confidently saving for college. Our 529 prepaid plans start at just $34 a month, and you have peace of mind knowing that when you lock in 2024 prepaid plan prices, your payment will never go up. 
It's inflation proof and further proof that it's the best way to ensure the brightest future. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-MINUTE. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. The countdown to the Paris Olympics is on. Hi, everybody. It's Savannah and Hoda. Now, this week, the Today Show brings Paris to our plaza. And Wednesday, America's best athletes are here live to celebrate 100 days to go. So join us this week on Today on NBC. It's Lodera! It's sensational! Orlando City is back on the road next weekend as the Lions travel north to face Montreal on Saturday, April 20th at 7.30 p.m. Tune in on FM 96.9 The Game and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Don't forget to tune in an hour before the match at 6.30 to catch kickoff minus 60 airing exclusively on the Lion Nation app. Man, I'm really glad to tell you about this great sponsor. It's Life Imaging FLA. They've helped save the lives of several of my friends and a bunch of our listeners thanks to early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer. You know, it's Stress Awareness Month, and one of the things people stress out about is how their health really is, and you don't really know unless you have a scan. Life Imaging FLA can help you get that scan. Matter of fact, they'll give you a free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is a value of $699, and you can get in there It takes about six minutes. I was able to go in, and I know my heart is all good, thanks to Life Imaging FLA. You pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250, you say the words free heart scan, and you will be connected in seconds. You'll get the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. When you talk to them about the free heart scan, ask about the cancer screening. That's super important as well. It's Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the words free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. Knows how to get things done. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light. Repair, safe light, the free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations like One Hit Wonders. This is the story of I'm not safe, but I'm not well. 
Just search One Hit Wonders and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. Free never sounded so good. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh la la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes? You know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Preparing you for the impending robot uprising. This is the news junk. feel about this whole sublime thing that's going on huh how do we feel about this uh, uh, i mean i did see a couple clips of the performance from coachella it was a big weekend. show huge crowd and the only difference is sublime it's not the the singer that took over for a uh, while bradley. it's now bradley's son and his, right. his son is now singing for the band and do you think it works do you think it's cool that sounded great honestly yeah, I thought it was. Uh, it was like that. It was that one performance because I went to their social media account and it was like just clips of them practicing. Yeah, and now that, like there's a new dog, there's an old Dalmatian. It's like a, uh-huh. a little Rottweiler, but right. I thought I did a, a great job. I mean, certainly certain parts sound just like Brad. He really does, doesn't he? Every once in a while, he hits something and you go, "Damn, that!" Like he's channeling his dad, and it, and it sounds right. And the band decided on him quickly. It was like he he went on stage with them at one performance or two performances, and then boom, he's the new singer of Sublime. Mm. He's taking over for Rome his dad. Who? And that's isn't that a tough one though? So now, do you not do the Sublime with Rome songs anymore? Rome well, is gone. I don't gone. think there were any Sublime with Rome songs that weren't Sublime songs. I think Rome had like one song. Mind you, Rome did great. Rome also yeah. for the many years that he did it killed it and it had a good voice and you know when they were successful right sublime was still pretty successful now it's just a big change and it's like you got the whole nepotism thing obviously out there but it, it it seems to work when i saw him and he's got his shirt off and he's playing he's singing like santa Ria or whatever he's singing bad fish i think it was bad fish and he's uh his hair is blowing in the breeze and he sounds just like his dad i go that's kind of cool, man. That's but but do you ever make new music? Does he go in and I'm going to record my songs? I'll play dad's songs and I'll play my songs as well. It's up to the rest of the band, which I didn't realize how old they were. They're <laughs> getting old. They clips. are. Well, one of the guys so like it's very clear acid and mushrooms are working very well for him. He <laughs> yeah, still's able to jam. They are looking older now that that album is, I don't know. How old is that first album, C-Lane? Or mm. the, the big album with what I got? Wow, Sublime with the Room did have three albums. Did they? Which means they I, were making new I music. What I got was, the, was in the third album, and that was okay. 1996. 96, damn. And, and his death was also, this was released after he died. Yeah, he did not see the band rise to fame. He had no idea what Sublime would become after that. Not to say that they weren't seeing some fame. They were on Warped Tour, and they were getting some exposure, and they were getting some traction. Uh, it was doing duets with uh, Gwen Stefani and this and that. But they didn't make it big whilst he was alive. He ended up uh, dying of a drug overdose before that. And now here is his son all these years later. Because his son for a while was probably too young to take seriously. But now his son, wow, I wonder if this is and right. That, and his family was trying to block them from using the Sublime name. 
Oh, was were they really? Yeah. yeah. But the son is probably about the same age as he was when he died right now, playing with the band, right? Sure. Wouldn't it be somewhere around that? And he's added some uh, elements where, you know, certain parts, and maybe that was just the fact that he was in front of a crowd of thousands and thousands of people. but Huge crowd. You know, there are some parts where I feel like he's putting in his little twist his and flavor to it. Mm-hmm. He yeah, kind of has, like gets this deep guttural, almost metal scream to it. Mm-hmm. But also... Uh, great bod, I'll say. Yeah. He looks like his dad. Good for him. He does. He looks like his dad. It's pretty interesting to see that happen. I don't remember Bradley's dog. I don't know what he looks like. Bradley? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I I used to be a big Sublime fan, so I've seen a ton of Sublime stuff. My eighth grade boyfriend gave me the shirt, and I was like, I'm a rock girl now. (laughs) I'm into it. Uh, Stoned Assassin says, I'm going to see Sublime next weekend at the fairgrounds. This is ten times better than Rome, he said. Ten times better than Rome. Are you going to see Sublime or Sublime with Rome? Because there's, I guess, a difference right now no there's two bands it's like gallagher's yes they're both out on the road and sublime with rome and this is a very sad embarrassing headline Subra- sublime with rome last month announced his farewell tour with none of the original members of sublime oh because they're all playing with new sublime now so they got the rights to use the name somehow well you, you can use sublime with rome but the other guys are going by sublime yeah, and the I'm, I'm saying the, the word so much that it's becoming not a word to me, right? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's falling apart now. Uh, anyways, a lot of people reacted to that. We'll hear from you. Go to the newsjunkie.com and let us know what you think. Let's get into it. Let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass. You're now on jury duty with the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. 866 call Mo. 866 call Mo. Or go to justcallmo.com. After an accident, you have your choice of attorneys out there. Make a smart decision. Pick somebody who is going to treat you like the human being that you are and fight for you and get the settlement that you deserve. Not let some algorithm tell them when to settle a case and for how much. Modowitz ready for you. 866-CALL-MO or go to justcallmo.com. Trump is on trial right now. The hush money Stormy Daniels case unfolding in the Capitol. And it seems, uh, well, actually, it's in New York where the the trial is underway. The Associated Press, though, did a poll about this, and the numbers are pretty staggering. They say only about one-third of U.S. adults say Trump did something illegal in the hush money case for which jury selection began Monday. Well, close to half think, uh, think he did something illegal in the other three criminal cases pending against him. And they're fairly skeptical that Trump is getting a fair shake from the prosecutors in this case or that the judge and jurors could be impartial in cases involving him. So people are suggesting, at least in terms of the Stormy Daniels case, that they don't think the president should be prosecuted for this, or they don't think he is guilty of doing anything wrong. Uh, But they do still say, a lot of people still say, if he's convicted of felony charges, that they're less likely to vote for him. So that could still have an impact. Only about 3 in 10 Americans feel that any of the prosecutors who have brought charges against Trump are treating the former president fairly, and only about 2 in 10 Americans are extremely or very confident that the judges and jurors in this case can be fair and impartial. It's it's hard to find anybody fair or impartial about a guy like Trump. He's a person who brings out the extremes. He's got people who literally, in his own words, will support him if he shoots somebody on Fifth Avenue or whatever avenue he said. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't wrong about that. He could change his Why? mind. Why would he shot someone on Fifth Avenue? <laughs> he could. He could have done it, and no one would care. They go. He had to do it to own the libs. He needed to do it. The libtards deserved it. And then on the other side, you have people who don't care about uh, you know the degradation of our trust in our justice system, and will do anything to get the whole lock them up thing going. I always knew that was bad. When you heard people at the Hillary rallies and they would chant "lock her up," people would chant "lock up Hillary." And they chant lock up Trump. And I'm like, this is a bad idea. This is banana Republic stuff. When all of us start just arresting other people for uh, having opinions that we don't like necessarily. And you could say all you want. You're blue in the face. They're like, there are crimes committed here. And I think in some cases there were. 
I think he's got a good case against him with the classified documents that he had Mar- at Mar-a-Lago. But this nonsense in New York is nothing. And uh, if this is illegal, then about a million people should be in jail who paid off the National Enquirer many, 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 many times over uh, and signed NDAs like Stormy Daniels did. No jurors were picked during the first day. No jurors up there. But I guess there was one that was a big, fat Trump fan. They were big in on it. Let me see. Here's a clip from Fox News where they're talking about one of the potential jurors. Let's listen in. Well, one potential juror said that no one is above the law. Another juror said that he's read three of Mr. Trump's books, including Art of the Deal. And with that news, the former president sat at the witness table, at the defense table, and he gave a chuckle. Back to you. So he said one of the potential jurors read not one, not two, but three of Trump's books. And uh, that would be good for him if they could get that person on the trial. But yeah. don't know if they He's will. A little biased. Uh, I do. do you like think this. that you would want to dial down your love for the former president yeah. if you really wanted to get on this trial? Hide it a little bit if you want to be the wolf in sheep's clothing. Can't be like I got all the books. Uh, George Santos is launching a new campaign for Congress. Love oh, George perfect. Santos. I love it. He's great. He's entertaining to watch. He's an absolute catastrophe everywhere he goes. Any new accolades that have never actually happened? I think this is almost an accolade in and of itself. It's hard to do in the political world. We know that he announced that he's running for office once more. How was he allowed to when he was It was determined that he used funds that didn't belong to him to buy bags? I guess it doesn't make it so he's not able to run for office again. Oh, I guess it's not, no. not stopped. But... He launched his new campaign, and now you have to file all of the different things to show how much money has come in from donors. How much do you think donors have given to George Santos's new campaign that he announced? Let's go into the um, $700,000. $700,000 raised, says Sabrina. What about you, Christopher Dolores Lane? $100,000. $100,000, $100,000, that wouldn't be very George Santos, would it? That, that absolutely wouldn't be. It, wait, um, are you asking how much is, was really raised or how much he said was raised? How, how, much, did, how much was really raised? Yeah, that, okay, because, that's why I said $100,000. You see right in front of me, uh, George Santos raises $0. <laughs> <laughs> and he can for Congress. <laughs> he launched it. And he hasn't gotten a single donation yet. Do they have the right account number? I don't know if they got the wires screwed up or what happened here, but it's not working. Actually, out just, yeah. that's that's not a terrible question because if people, if he gave away the wrong account number and that money just went straight to George instead of his campaign, that seems like a very Santos thing to do. I'd love that. If he gets in more trouble, oh, more lies, it's all going to happen for us. I feel it. Okay, running a bit behind. When we come back, uh, I've got to uh, rant a little bit about something that I think is absolute garbage. There needs to be pressure on this. We need to improve it. We have to get to what happened with the Russ case. That blows my mind, actually, and sneak in some more of you. You got things to say, so stick with us. That's coming up next on the News Chunky. Your chance to win a grand in your hand is minutes away on Real Radio 104.1. Brought to you by Mills Air. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. The right lane is blocked on U.S. 27 northbound south of Holly Hill Road due to an accident. There's a bit of slowdowns on I-4 eastbound between Osceola Parkway and after State Road 535. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429, and it's mellow on the Greenway. There's slowdowns where Vine Street meets John Young Parkway in all directions. Just travel with caution in that area. If you see traffic troubles, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the tra- this report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance. Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Find what you love, love what you find. A total wine and more. There's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer, thousands of wines. Walk right through the door. It's all here to explore. With guides in the know and prices so low, it just might blow your mind. 
Drink responsibly, B21. By texting 64,000, you agree to receive recurring automated marketing messages from Babbel. Message and data rates may apply. No purchase required. Terms apply. Available at babbel.com slash TNC. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's, It's perfect. perfect. It starts here. And now try Babbel for free by texting radio to 64,000. Text radio to 64,000. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioners making a funny noise, press 1. No, it's... Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press 2. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what do we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explained, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! FrankGayServices.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website money. M O N E Y money. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. The most viral newsroom on the planet is still humming along. This Let's get that book out. Volume 17. Yeah, it's a huge uh, chronicalization of all of my complaints over the years. And I've got to get this one out. And I want to see if you guys have had the same experience or not. But I want to toss it out there. Because 
We've seen so many absolutely massive jumps in technology. Chat GPT, we saw it as it was released here on the show, and we're kind of live reacting to it, and we saw all the AI jumps that followed. Now with Dolly and um, what's the mind one? Mind, not mind, Hunter. Um, there's another AI that's like that where it uh, puts together photographs for you and They've got plugins and everything from Photoshop to anything else you could think of. I feel like everything that I use now has like a, hey, by the way, we're introducing AI. That's like yep. my Gmail, um, any sort of like editing software. Sure. Uh, I mean, truly, I am constantly using ChatGBT, even mm. when it comes to just like, hey, I've got this massive to-do list, three pages long. Can you make this priority order in some, two seconds? Some of the Let's editing go. software AI can do some pretty cool things, I think. Like, uh, but when you're using it for stuff that doesn't seem AI-ish, like when you think of Chat GPT, you're like, write me an essay, robot. Mm-hmm. But like, when you think of like <laughs> it actually being useful, it's like, oh, I'm uh, helping my friend out with some pictures for real estate. We got to edit the people out of this pool and just make it look like it's just a pool. And I'm like, I can do that. Uh, Easy peasy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Let the AI take control and take the wheel because that technology has been great. It's been really, really good. I'm not here to complain about that. I'm not even here to be an AI doomer, even though I think people do not seem to comprehend yet. Back in my day, we used encyclopedia. How many jobs is going to steal? It's mind-blowing how many of these entry-level jobs. We're going to have a civilization of dodos and then well-educated people who make all the money. That is what we're going to have. We're going to have dodos and frodos. And there will be no way around this, and it's going to happen in very short time in front of all of your eyeballs. It is going down. And it will even affect this industry. I was talking to Courtney. I said, I think – I don't want to sound really doomer on this, especially not for, like, our our friends in in the radio industry. But I said, how long can the actual radio DJ last? When already – Some of these companies are putting out AI versions of DJs. And if the AI version is plugged into a massive local to-do, or not to-do list, um, a massive local events database and uh, a massive weather database and a massive traffic database, it can come back from a song and say, that was Britney Spears, and then go, "Uh, this weekend, don't forget, Pints in the park or whatever event is going down sure. and go weather's supposed to be beautiful for that. Make sure you go enjoy it with the whole family. And you don't and tell they, me what to do, robot. They could pull all this in and then you go, how does that person justify doing that job and not the robot doing that job? You're screwed. It still You're doesn't screwed. have the personality, right? So there was the, you know, the other the streaming platform that attempted its first take at a, a digital DJ, an AI Did you DJ. give that any time? Did you actually uh, try two that seconds, out at all? Two all seconds right. of it, and it was very strange because in its attempt to be like, I'm a real person, it didn't make any sense. And I was like, by the way, the tree was looking at the sky. Here's up next. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right. And then the song that was next was groovy, and I kept moving on, but it still didn't give that like, you could tell it was not a human. It wasn't all the way there. Yeah. But it will be. That's the problem. I'm saying like five years from now, it's hard to justify that job. The company knows it. A lot of people know it. Our job is different, uh, although they could probably AI something like this in due time. I, it would be they more won't difficult. won't be as funny and quick. Come on. Long form, spoken word, format, radio, that's harder to do. Uh, AI, give that a try. Come back to me. We'll see how you do. Yeah. But, Four hours in, it's a racist. It's just a uh, <laughs> <laughs> milkshake duck, just like that. It, it'll happen, too, when they launch it. Depends on what they feed into the you know the, to the models. But that none of that is what I'm here to, to bitch about. I'm here to bitch about something that has started to suck. And maybe it sucked for a little while and I didn't notice, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. All the other technology is getting better. And Alexa is a garbage heap, dumpster <laughs> fire, disaster <laughs> of useless things. And every time I ask any kind of question, it's not even in depth, the questions. 
I brought some of the ones hmm, up that I've I'm recently not sure. asked. Hmm, I'm not sure. If I, I hit play, will this, will this play my voice and the answer if I hit play here on the uh, Amazon website? Uh, uh, yes. Miss her. Alexa, when did the TV show Dave come out? All right, so they don't play her. You guys are obsessed. I said, when did the TV show Dave come out? Because I wanted to see. I, it felt like it was from, like, 2016 or 2017 to me. But it wasn't. It was from 2020. And when I said, Alexa, when did the TV show Dave come out? That's pretty simple. That's a pretty simple command. And you, fact, also, Sabrina, you also... Sabrina, were... can, you, can you bring up chat GPT and see if chat GPT nails that answer? I bet it does. I bet it does. When did the TV show Dave come out and, uh... to chat GPT? Because Alexa said, I know about four Santan Dave TV shows. Already done. And they are Top Boy, Soccer Aid, Chicken Shop <laughs> Date, and NPR Music Tiny Desk Concert. <laughs> All right. What is that garbage? Is Alexa okay? It, this is a nonsensical quick. answer. It wasn't good. What did you get from ChatGPT? Uh, within 0.3 seconds, TV show day premiered March 4th, 2020 on FXX. See, everything got, else is getting good except for this. I got the same thing from Google. Just uh, by typing it into where I would type the search. Why? I believe why, Siri will also give you a straight answer. Why is Alexa lagging on this? Why does Alexa suck at answering so many seemingly um, simplistic questions? Probably because most of its power is being used to eavesdrop into our daily lives in order Maybe. to target ads properly. So I have a you know a couple like smart light bulbs, right? Mm. And most of them work have been working for what i would say is years and now i have uh had been forced to buy a hub for one company that's supposed to be with alexa and now i every single night alexa turn off bedroom light hmm bedroom light doesn't support that hmm bedroom <laughs> light doesn't support that and i go yes it does why did you just turn it off last night what's going on with this is it getting worse Not to write a customer service email to somebody that's connecting me to what it's just it's such a waste of time i feel like they have let go of the wheel they don't care but for... they'll add ads to our, our prime video won't they, they they'll, they'll do that they'll do that and i do love one thing about the device our friend Amy Kay is on the front screen yeah. of my my device all the time, and I, that's, I think that's great. That's fun, but it is getting so bad. It is really, really screwing up simple questions. Rand says our Alexa gives us movie schedules every time it doesn't understand what's being asked. <laughs> Just randomly spit out movie yeah. dates for you. I'll get it. Notification. It's like, um, Sabrina. It looks like it's been a long time since you ordered that forty-pound bag of cat litter. Would you like uh -huh. to get some more? And I go, first of all, if you looked at the past orders, I just ordered it, and yes, uh -huh. get some more. I think it's. Bitch. I think it's getting worse. I think it's breaking. They don't care. And Are you going I, to rewire your whole house for another smart home? I would in a second if there was one that was like Chat GPT. If I could replace it, same kind Google. of device, it probably would be better. It's noticeably worse in every way when I ask any kind of questions. I, and then I try to ask some pretty simple conversion questions. I asked uh, the device yesterday or the day before because we ordered a coffee table. I said, how many? Say seventh one. Um, no. Well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, said, I said to the device, I said, how many square feet? is this many inches by this many inches, right? And that should be a pretty simple problem for, for something like that to solve. Uh -huh. Had no idea. Nope. Couldn't do it. But Google could do it. Google did it in five seconds. Not even five seconds. It's way over. It's like point zero 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 two seconds. And it shoots out the, the exact answer I'm looking for. Chat GPT will not only answer the question, but will also go, hey, just in case you want to do this or this or this, give me extra stuff. Okay, that's what I don't want from Alexa. That's what I, I've said multiple times. Pisses me off because I just want her to do something really quick. Like, I do conversions. I do, like, how many tablespoons is in a, is in a uh, cup or stuff like, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. And then, uh, uh, and then it's like... I can also schedule uh, the lights to turn on at a certain time no. of day. I'm like, no, I don't want that. I did stop, <laughs> ask, stop suggesting stuff. You know what makes me sad, though, is that I have asked how many tablespoons are in a cup 
<laughs> so many times. So many times. Like, <laughs> she gives me the answer, and I do it, and I it's gone. And Maybe I she's have, getting mad. I'll have to ask that every single time forever. M- maybe she's just pissed off. Maybe she's giving up. Maybe she's quiet quitting. I think Alexa may be quiet quitting. Because now when I look at it, all I see is us saying, what time is it? Or um, what's the temperature outside? Or something simple. Because it can't answer what seems to be the simplest Simplest question. And it, it mishears things. Like I said, here's one where I said, what's schnapps liquor made of? And Alexa said, uh, what is schnauzer liquor? Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't even, like, where are you even You're getting t- that from? Target ads right. are going to be weird. Uh, have yeah, you yeah, just they, drank a lot of schnapps? Like, did you sound coherent? That's <laughs> 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 schnauzer liquor. This is awesome. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to play it because it's not me saying it. <laughs> it's not my voice asking this question. That was a, a Courtney question, I think. But it's garbage. It's oh, so Oh, come on. Bad. I played Ashley's drunk uh, Alexa on the radio one time. Yeah, come on. She yeah. was very excited about that. Here we go. Alexa, is schnapps a liqueur? Okay, she said, is schnapps a liqueur? That's what she said. And it heard, do you lick schnauzers? It said, Alexa, is schnauzer liquor? That's that's what they came up with. <laughs> oh. Alexa, is schnapps a liqueur? No, is schnapps a liqueur? Don't hear it. That's what they picked up. That's I think what the it is a liqueur. That's what I figured. Uh, you guys are drinking schnapps. Vile. No, 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 no. We weren't. We were just uh, sometimes we uh, like something pops up and we start talking about it and then we don't know and we go to the device for the answer and that's how I know the device sucks at the answer because that. I, okay, let me what? just explain something to you. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, we're just as hyped as you, man. All right, this is one of the problems I'm facing at the moment. We decided, and I've told you about this on the show before, at 9.45 or 10 o'clock each night, take our phones, we put them in the bedroom, Goodbye, on the bedside phone. table. No more technology, so you're not staring at your phone, not watching the movie. I've noticed and this by myself because you'll ask me something, and then I'll get back to you, and then I'll never hear anything. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just trying to take just a tiny little block of time between 10 and when we go to bed. Well, stop and asking. We put we put our phones in there. Every once in a while, I'll sneak in when I go to the bathroom and check my phone real quick and scoot back. But now, when we run into all these random questions, which we would just search for on our phone, we have to ask somebody. So we ask the smart speaker. Get the, uh, get, get the AI pin. No, I don't want that thing's worse. The AI pin is worse than you know it. What's that thing called? <laughs> the AI pin? Oh, is that what it's called? Something like that, yeah. Great name, great name. This thing is just as garbage as uh, Schmismexha because that uh, is getting god-awful reviews. Humane. Wow. Humane is the name of the company. The Humane that pin. It's that a- really weird video, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. And it's supposed to, like, beam a screen onto your yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks like crap. It doesn't look very professional at all. It's it's seven hundred dollars and then twenty four dollars a month for the service. Twenty four dollars because it's it, too it, much. It, it, it has a SIM card. Like it needs a data plan to do its AI stuff. It just doesn't do a lot of stuff, and it's awful. But I don't want to use it as what they want me to. They want me to use it as like a smart speaker and it's a personal assistant. This whole yeah. I don't think you could use it as a smart speaker because I don't think you can access the APIs for Spotify or iHeartRadio. It can because yeah. I saw a guy test it out and he said, play this song, and it played the song. Oh, well, that, that's maybe a different version. It's this whole segment would um, make our grandparents' heads <laughs> explode. <laughs> they go, they're happy about nothing. I'm yeah. serious. I mean, to think of how much this has, this like technology has advanced that we are getting mad at how stupid the technology has advanced. I to, don't but. disagree with you. <laughs> I don't disagree wild. with you. But when, when they dangle out something like chat GPT or the things that have followed, whether it be Google's AI or Gronk, the, the Twitter AI, all of these AI products are dangled out in front of us. And then the one that is in so many households. See, like, can you Google how many households own an Alexa device? It's got to be... 60 million, 80 million. This has got to be a lot, right? There's so many different types of devices, for God's sake. And everybody is getting underserved. There's been no improvements in this thing. It sucks. Wow. It's not better. Amazon says that 25% of U.S. households have at least one Alexa device. For Amazon Prime households, the number rises to 27. Does that mean okay. that more people have Prime than Alexa devices? Or does that mean that... 
20 more there it's, a it means, fraction it, of the prime people have devices it means the prime people are more likely to have yeah. one of the but that would that make sense too like you're just going to be integrated into your life more so one out of every four you said yeah when i so that's around you know, 350 divided by four so you know around that like 80 million ish people that would have these things and it's like i feel like i do with my apple tv where they just abandoned it. They don't give you new cool stuff. When they do, they kind of put out a, a half-ass update, and it's not super impressive. It's time for something new. It's time for something better. It's time for an improvement. I want my digital assistant to be better. I don't want it to suck at answering simple questions. I expect more out of you. All right? There you go. That's my piece. Now we hear from you. Let's listen to what you got on your mind. Here's Joe. He sent us a dispatch about AI. The AI assistant is pretty cool. I got a 3D printer recently, and I've been trying to design different things to make. And it's very convenient to ask the AI about different dimensions, like to make hexagons mm -hmm. or circles or whatever you need to make. And you just talk to it like normal, and it's like, okay, use these formulas, do this, do that, and here's your answer. Anything else I can help you with? It uh, makes it a lot easier. She's not the same person I have in my device. I will tell you that. It's just not what I'm getting. It, like, And it goes to the Alexa answers too much. That's what it tries to go to, to solve problems that it can't figure out. And that they have people doing that. People fill out the answers. And sometimes people will screw with you, too, and put fake funny answers in there. It's a mess. They got to do something. Here's Tuck Frump talking about the Sublime Reunion. Sean, what you got to keep in mind about Sublime is they did the whole Sublime with Rome thing for a while. Rome is the guy who's in that Dirty Heads band. Mm -hmm. After a while, the drummer also quit, and then he was replaced by the guy who's playing for the Foo Fighters now. So for the last, God. I don't know, probably decade, if you paid full price to see the band labeled as Sublime, the only actual member you saw was One. Bug the bass player. Everybody else was a fill-in. Well, now the original drummer is back, and it's Bradley's son. So this is the closest thing anybody's been able to yeah. see to the actual Sublime since Brad died. Yeah, that is a good offering. And that's why they headline or or at least are up there on the uh, performance list at an event like Coachella. I like how uh, setlist.fm, I'm looking at the, the set that they played at uh, Coachella. Mm -hmm. And it has all these different ones, uh, all these different songs on in there. And it says, first time since 1996. To As, as if to say that Sublime has been just dormant <laughs> for they did like all that work they put in all of the shows they did all the albums they recorded <laughs> and, and 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 maybe maybe because they're not counting sublime with rome i don't know it's some of the stuff that the, the, it's another website that's like edited by the users and then moderated by the users that edit a lot and then mm -hmm. they have to like fight over what they consider to be this is this a cover is this somebody else's song blah blah it's well, a whole a whole thing yeah, that's not great. Jilly Babe on YouTube says, Google and Alexa suck now. I believe it's because they slowed and dumbed it down. That's her theory. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com. Send us a dispatch. Let me work this in since I teased it earlier. In the Rust case, the armorer, Helena Hutchins, in, in the death of her, the armorer's name is Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. We talked about this when the shooting happened with Alec Baldwin on the set of Rust. Kind of surprising. The armorer got 18 months in prison, and mm. I didn't think anybody was going to get any significant time. Now, I thought if anybody, the armorer she was loaded the one, a live bullet. Yeah, she's the one who would be responsible for the ammunition being in that weapon. So if anybody's going to be responsible, it's her. But she got 18 months in prison. It was the maximum that she was facing in that courtroom. She was found not guilty of a second charge tampering with evidence over the 2021 shooting of Elena Hutchins on the set of Russ. 18 months in prison for Hannah Gutierrez, read the armorer on set. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com now. When we come back, we'll hear from those. We'll also hear from a, well, we'll hear about, I should say, a new game that kids in high school are playing. This one, I'm just going to tell you flat out, is a terrible, really bad idea. What is it? Wait till you hear this. It's coming up next on the News Junkie.
Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's a little bit of commotion this afternoon. Authorities are clearing up an accident on the on-ramp from Schoolfield Road to State Road 429 northbound. The traffic lights are working incorrectly on Lee Road eastbound and westbound at Kingswood Drive. Authorities are clearing up that accident on Highway 1792 northbound between Maitland Boulevard and O'Brien Road. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by MD Now Urgent Care. For over 15 years, Floridians have trusted the physician-led team at MD Now Urgent Care for high-quality health care. From injuries and illnesses to school and sports physicals, MD Now Urgent Care is here to get you back to better. Find a location near you at mdnow.com and use their convenient web check-in today. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a key Keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch, because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. Turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at MillsAir.com. Looking for more than just a job? If you're mechanically inclined, an auto mechanic, certified welder, machinist, or a CDL driver with a strong work ethic, Ring Power, your North and Central Florida Caterpillar dealer, is the place. Whether you're beginning a career or making a change, Ring Power has apprenticeship and pay training for qualified candidates to help become skilled technicians. Join us at our Orlando Facility Career Fair on Saturday, April 27th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. For more information or to pre-register, visit jobfair.ringpower.com slash Orlando. Join a winning team. Join Ring Power. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 188-ADMINUTE. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year-round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, nights, birthdays, and even low-impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from solarsource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins save even more money. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's Injury Attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. 
Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. With three generations and over 45 years of Florida experience, Handyman Roofing knows storms and hurricanes. We know how to evaluate storm-damaged roofs and not cause more damage. Handyman Roofing has the expertise to get your roof done. Plus, easy financing in case your insurance company is dragging its feet. With multiple emergency response teams ready, Handyman Roofing will be by your side now when you need it the most. knows how to get things done. Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In Office Orlando. Hi guys, Nancy Grace here, host of podcast Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. It's so easy to think it will never happen to me or my family, but that is simply not true. We speak to victims' families. Every day is a mission to keep one more person safe. Listen to Crime Stories with Nancy Grace on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Crime Stories with Nancy Grace. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Real Radio has your chance to win $1,000. Just enter this nationwide keyword on our website, money, M-O-N-E-Y, money. Enter it now on our website, realradio.fm. Good luck. Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos. game that high schoolers are playing is a real bad idea in just a moment but i just saw this video of how the weather is today in dubai and it is a wild one over there we're uh, lucky that we're not in the same straits that they find themselves in check this out i'll put it up on see it now when i get a shot here but just in the meantime, is some of the stuff that's coming across. Uh, look at this in front of me here, Sea Lane. It's like a high rise building, and stuff is just like blowing Whoa. off the edge. The Oof. airport, the planes are like chugging through the water up to the engines at the airport. Damn. And it's just really like flash floods and very, very bad weather. The airport in particular is an absolute mess, man. The idea that they're flying those, or driving, I should say, those planes through there. Or like Dubai, you know, huh? Not doesn't look nice. It Bay doesn't look like a good time. Water. Uh, what was that? Bays of uh, water. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got you. I got, I got For anyone you. just tuning in. <laughs> uh, this is where we're at on the Share the Show Tuesday, friends. Uh, but, yeah, I'll put this up because it is, God, I'd be freaking out if I was there. Uh, it's not a fun time, or at least it doesn't look like it. Okay, right now I want to tell you about something that is happening with at least some high schoolers. 
that you should probably advise your high school age child against getting involved in. A police agency in Brevard County has issued a warning to community members regarding a viral game. The Seattle Beach Police Department, or sorry, excuse me, Satellite Beach Police Department, stated they received numerous calls from residents who are witnessing individuals dressed in hoodies or in masks sneaking around their neighbors' homes. Oh yeah, the the act like a terrorist game, the act like senior a armed uh, criminal game. They call it the senior assassin game. Which no, no. please don't do this. Please. Our officers respond to each of these 911 calls without knowledge of whether this is an incident of students having fun or an actual crime is about to be committed. We would like to remind the community that the sight of firearms, whether real or fake, may instill fear among the public. And they said uh, they sneak up on classmates. Some of them are sneaking into their houses, like hiding in closets and stuff, and then boom, you know, scaring their fellow seniors who don't even know that they're in the household. This is a bad idea. It's a bad idea. What was it called? I know we talked about this before. What was that thing called where people would break into houses and crime? People weren't, it was called. No. It's called crime. Still called. I know uh, that one. The B and E game. No, it had another name. Where they were kicking down the fence or something. No, that was uh, um, high. Or no, it was Kool Aid Manning. <laughs> um, I think. But this was you would break into a house where nobody was there usually, and you would kind of stay there in secret in the house and go in and out. And it was called frogging or something oh, or. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys, you're, you're talking about. Yeah, that, that was the really creepy docu series where like people would find out that some somebody was like living in their house. Yeah, that is not a good idea. You get shot like this and the cops are like, look, when we come to these places on a call, we are trigger happy anyhow. We're going to shoot something. Don't let it be you, the senior assassin game. If it's real, sometimes these things aren't. It's just some dumb thing that a couple parents got upset about. If it's real, don't do it, kids. Don't do it because it's a really bad idea. Caitlin Clark drafted number one in the W. Surprise. Right. She goes to the Indiana Fever. Sports. Yeah. I got a notification about that on my phone, and I was like, this is breaking news? This doesn't seem like something that would be breaking news. Uh, they said that this was very, very, very expected. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, nobody was surprised about this. But they said as soon as they announced the pick, it took a, a handful of time, like less than an hour, and her jerseys were completely sold out of stock. Totally gone. No more left, and they must have been anticipating that. They must have been knowing that there would be a surge in people who were trying to buy the Caitlin Clark Indiana Fever jerseys when they were released, and still sold all that in less than an hour, and all that for like seventy something thousand dollars a year. Good, good work if you can get it. Good work if you can get it. When we come back, the final dispatches stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Share the Show Tuesday. And thank you, friend, because I know you did it. I know if you're over on YouTube, I know you at least took the time to hit that like button. I know you at least did that. I know you at least hit subscribe over there. Hit I know subscribe. you at least sent a link to the podcast Send to a friend. Link. I know you did something on a Share the Show Tuesday. Anything. Otherwise, I'll be very upset. Share All the right. show. Back with the final dispatches. Stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Tuesday. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. On the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Later today on the Jim Colbert Show, it's only money. Our financial advice segment with Scott Brown from Edgewater Family Wealth. We'll review the latest assignment for what you do that's new. All week for JCS Trivia, win them before you can buy them. Tickets to see Lewis Black at Hard Rock Live. Plus, your calls, texts, and talkbacks later today. The Jim Colbert Show. Today at 3 p.m. on Real Radio 104.1.
offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Listen up, my business owning friends. Do you want to build or expand your business? Well, that mortgage guy Don can help with commercial loans. And that mortgage guy Don.com is the place to go for all your business and residential loans. If you need a loan to buy a franchise, go to thatmortgageguidedon.com. Do you have a high interest rate SBA loan at 9, 10, 11%? If you qualify and have paid on time for the past two years, Don can refinance your SBA loan at an 8.25% fixed rate. Boom! Peace of mind right there at your fingertips. So get the process started today. Most importantly, don't miss the boat. Compare your quote today by going to thatmortgageguidedon.com. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. one 800 7 and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Help keep our community safe and healthy during National Prescription Drug Take Back Day, April 27th. Find a collection site near you at DEATakeback.com. Do your part to lower overdose deaths and prevent drug misuse before it starts. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call one 855 you can tell spring is in the air thanks to that thick coat of pollen that covers everything from your car to your house. And if you suffer from allergies, this can be a tough time of the year. So breathe easy this spring with Renewal by Anderson's energy-efficient windows and doors. Improved indoor air quality is just one great benefit. Renewal by Anderson's beautiful design with a variety of color options bumps up your curb appeal, too. And during their 30-day spring sale, you can save $325 on every window and 
$25 on all patio doors. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Expires April 30th. Some restrictions apply. And if you're looking for a new career, Renewal by Anderson is now hiring experienced window and door installation subcontractors with general and trim carpentry experience. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. You do everything you can for your family. A nice home, good food, family fun, and the right medical care. You plan ahead for your kids' future and their education. That's all great, unless something unexpected happens to you. If you were to die, who would pay the mortgage and all the other bills? Would your family have to sell their home just to survive? That's why you need to call Term Provider for the lowest rates available on quality term life policies, period. Rates for term life are at all-time lows, and Term Provider could save you 50, 60, even 70%. Already have coverage? Call and see if you're paying too much. Term Provider could save you thousands. And if your health isn't perfect, even more reason to call. We'll match you with the right policy even if you have weight issues like diabetes or high blood pressure. Right now, your family's protected. Make sure that protection continues if something unexpected happens to you. Call for a free quote and see if you can save up to 70%. Call 800-777-1979 now. 800-777-1979. 800-777-1979. People who suffer from allergies use Nasal Guard to prevent them. Nasal Guard's innovative gel and spray products protect you from all airborne allergens, no matter what the forecast holds. Visit Amazon, Walmart, or NasalGuard.com today. Breathe better this spring. NasalGuard.com. Is it? Yeah, you guys. You, how you guys doing? Just out of curiosity. Oh, yeah. we're having yeah. we're having a nice day. Yeah. Uh, you want me to do it? Or? No, no. I I got it under control. I you just sure? wanted to. I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you guys. Is that uh, all right? Yeah. That's I what... mean, I figured after we're done with the show, it'd be a good time. But no, I thought now work. was seemed appropriate. Fine. You know what? Forget it. Fine. High diving face first into the world's most viral newsroom. This is the news junkie. Same. Yeah, you know what? Everything was smooth until then, and then we had to reboot some things oh. behind the scenes, and then everything went sideways, and uh, and now here we are. But we made it, and I'm particularly happy I made it. I only slept about two hours last night at best. Party Just, guy. Uh, it was not party guy. It was opposite of party guy. It was guy that didn't have any drinks last night, trying oh. to go to bed. And I had like my my sleepy time tea, and I had uh, yep, <laughs> go go for it. I'm trying to take a couple of days a week when I'm not drinking, and I'm trying to do whatever I can to to get to bed. And it clearly but didn't work. Is the sleepy work. time tea not working? The sleepy time tea was not successful last night. Nor was the melatonin that I took. I took all kinds of things to try to put me out. And the it's thing that Benadryl, makes no man. sense, game changer. The, the thing that really makes no sense is the fact that. I, uh, right after the show yesterday, was so tired, I was, like, nodding off, like, like falling out, and then you, 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 like, jerk back awake. Sure. And I was doing that after the show, and then I pushed through it and did a bunch more work, and then I couldn't fall asleep. It I, was I have just... The same issue. I fall asleep like a damn baby on my stupid little couch, mm-hmm. and I, you know, technically for my back and neck, it's awful. And then as soon as I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's get a proper sleep and go into the bed. Right. I am awake for days. And I watched what is, I believe, the most brilliant episode of Law and Order SVU. Oh, yeah, what's sure the best one? The, I've seen all of them. But this one I just like really got to pay attention to because I was so awake. And that was Kathy Griffin is the leader of a lesbian group. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And right. it was just magnifique. As Where does far. the fiction come in? Uh, well, <laughs> turns out she's a bisexual, but Liv was able to nab the perp 
because she pretended to be a lesbian because she put on a leather jacket. Oh, it was that's awesome. how you do it. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. There's, uh, there's, there, I'm, I'm getting to that point where like the recurring episodes of Criminal Minds that I'm like, oh gosh, uh, it's the Reaper again. Here oh, we, go again. we gotta watch Hotch's wife yeah, yeah, die yeah. again. But then some parts uh, you miss, you know, because I have watched every single episode of SVU. Isn't that and crazy? Yet though? This came up, and I'm like, oh, this is hilarious. Let's Whenever go. you have a show that has that many episodes, you'll watch it three, four times, and then you go, I've never seen this one before. And there's ones that maybe you were just not yeah. paying any attention to. Oh, every single moment I paid attention to this time. <laughs> it's like you got Five a little stars. extra stuff. Uh, the update on the Trump trial in New you York just, City. You just got to know. You're a little bit robot, Sean, right now. <laughs> oh, am I? <laughs> it, it's not like we... we Sounds can, like you're, like, half coughing. It's just like, no, nah, like, little little blips are taken in and out. Like, you're not fully AI Sean yet. You, we haven't... Uh, they haven't replaced you. Like, oh, sing uh, Ace of Base real quick. I saw the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Do we sound weird? Are we doing anything no. weird? No. Oh. No, you guys sound up totally my eyes, I saw the sign. <laughs> Do you want me to disconnect? No, uh, no, we, we already tried that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm not sure what it is. It's, uh, it's Turn off all the lights at a studio. Do that help. No, that's not going to make anything better I'm over sure here. Will, yeah. uh, uh, no, now it's just sad. Oh, you no. sound great. You sound great. <laughs> you look good. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Um, all right, folks. Let's you looked better. Let's just, let's just be done with it. All right. What? Let's do today I learn. Hello? <laughs> the following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call today I learned. It is today I learned for a Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. 24. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. A couple technical issues here at the end, but we'll be back in as shiny as ever tomorrow. Right now, today I learned this company right here. McDonald's. McDonald's. That's right. McDonald's is the largest toy distributor in the world with roughly 5,000 Happy Meals sold every minute. Oh, I That's never even lot. thought of that. I guess I never, I guess they never really, I wouldn't have thought of them as a toy distributor right, because they're same. a restaurant. But I'm like, they're yeah. free, but no, they're not. But 5,000 every minute is a lot. 1.5 billion toys a year, they suggest, uh, making McDonald's the largest toy distributor on planet Earth. Today, I learned people who post their fitness routine on social media. I'm listening. Are more likely to have psychological problems. (laughs) (laughs) But they swole. The study explains narcissists are more frequently updated about their achievements online, which was motivated by their need for attention and validation from the Facebook community. On one hand, the lay observer will see this as plausible, but they say it tends to be an indicator that somebody else has other problems. I think there's a lot of people... Right here. Bill Nye, the science guy. That's right. Bill Nye quit his job. At- oh, boy. <laughs> uh, I bet it was a, 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 a place. A stand up comic after winning a Steve Martin lookalike contest in 1978. Am I cutting out like crazy? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. We didn't know where Bill had quit, but then it came back. And finally, today I learned this band. Sublime. Sublime is correct. Yes, indeed. Might as well just end with them today. And I'll run out of here and slam some shots. Today I learned Sublime's breakout album was originally called Killing It. But they renamed it Sublime after Bradley Noel died of a heroin overdose. And the name seemed a lot more aggressive at that time. Uh, and now his son is singing for him as they open up uh, Coachella. And, and he's killing it. Big performance. Yeah. And he is yeah. killing it. Yeah. He's Look doing a great job. How about that? There you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Missed any of the show? Go over to thenewsjunkie.com and get the podcast right now. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah.